I'm gonna lose Facebook where two people will be watching us. <laughs> you know about going live. Yeah, I do. The weirdness of, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. You guys, this is Johnny Bean. This is Strati Night. Quick reminders, uh, I'll be live at TwitchCon on my Twitch channel October 18th through the 24th. So if you want to uh, give me a follow on Twitch, that'd be awesome. From fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'll also be live here on YouTube and Facebook from Las Vegas. So uh, it's Saturday night. We're going to uh, – actually, we have a special unboxing tonight. We got some giveaway stuff. We have a special guest. It's going to be an awesome time. So uh, smash that thumbs up. Smash that subscribe. And uh, let's do this. It's Johnny Bean, Johnny Bean TV. Here we go. Hey, this is Ricky Rocket, and you're watching my buddy Johnny Bean right here on his channel. What's up, you guys? It's October 7th, 2023, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11.09 p.m. Eastern, 8.09 Pacific. We're in Santa Cruz, California. Is my mic okay? You guys can hear me okay, right? Yes, sir. Sounds good. <laughs> you guys, welcome. And again, smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We're we're very, we're about 20 away from 10,600. It's only been about 18 years. So it's about <laughs> it's about time we get to at least 10,600 YouTube subscribers. And, uh, and as, as I had said, I will be live from TwitchCon October 18th through the 24th. That's coming up. So if, if you'd like to hang out with me uh, over on Twitch, it's, it's, it's about live streaming. It's not just about video games. It'll be a great time from Las Vegas. So make sure to join us. And uh, actually, uh, maybe a couple few of us will actually be at the NAM show end of January. Right? I think, Haley, you're going to be at NAM yeah. show, right? Yeah. 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 And I think 40 Grit, I think, was saying you, you uh, you may be there as well. I go. I just scheduled, uh, we just scheduled a vacation in February for Nashville. Uh huh. So I don't, we'll, we'll see how that oh, works cool. out. But yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go to Nashville. Right. On. What up, Ronnie Parker? <laughs> What's up, Ronnie Parker? Hey, let's let's uh, let's let's say hello to the top tier of channel members here on Johnny Bean TV here on YouTube. If you'd, like to, if you'd like to support the channel, channel membership is the best way to do that. You get your name in green in the chat like Robbie Stingle, like Mike Olson, like Blue Mox. And if you're a top tier channel member, you get your name right at the top of every talk show. And uh, the executive producers are currently CC, Stephen Franklin, Michael Smith, Music Therapy Laz, Sherman Callahan, 40 Grit. John Moronic, Majestic PB and J Cat, Guitarman45, Janice Lala, the intern, R Habs, Warlag, Patty Dill, Fairfield Guitar Co. And there's another name on there that I need to add. No Vane. No Vane, I think is the name. No Vane. I'll say it again because your name's not written on there. No Vane. I think that's how you pronounce your name. So there you go. Uh, you guys know the drill. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, Super Chats is the way you can do that. And uh, here on this channel, uh, it's pretty cool because we got this thing called the Guitar Noir. And these lights magically change with any Super Chats. YouTube Super Chats here on, uh, on YouTube. 
We're also live on Facebook, Johnny Bean Facebook profile, where we have Facebook stars you can help support. And we're also live in the exclusively Van Halen group at 62,000 members, EVH Gear Fans Live group, EVH Gear Fans Live page, and the Johnny Bean TV group. We're also live on X, which used to be called Twitter. Where's the laugh for that? <laughs> and this is a podcast on Spotify, so make sure you... Uh, Follow us on Spotify. And by the way, for those of you that are complaining already, um, I don't know. We, maybe we can we can talk about about some of this. Have any? Did any of you guys get the brand new Van Hagar remasters? Did any of you guys hear any of that yet? Did you hear it? I did. Have you heard it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So online, people are already complaining that they sound exactly like before. There's no difference. What did you think? Well, that's that's interesting because I was at work today and I got a phone call from my buddy who's a huge Van Halen nut. And he said, hey, have you listened to the new Van Halen stuff? And I go, yeah. And he said, what do you think? And I go, I think it's great. Ever since I got it uh, on Friday, I haven't listened to those albums in a long time. Mm -hmm. So it was cool to have those. They're directly on my iPhone again. So I've just been listening to album by album and I think they sound great. Uh, 5150 for me personally was unbearable as was OU812 to listen to uh, of the original recording is just very you mean the thin. record yeah like they're you know like the record or whatever and um it was difficult to listen to uh not difficult for me to listen to but I will tell you that he said the same thing he said it, it sounds they sound exactly the same there's nothing different and I said well I haven't uh you know did you listen to them on your just like on your phone, like through a speaker like that? Yeah, or, through a Bluetooth. Yeah, through Bluetooth. But through something like this, just like a tiny speaker. No, I through listen... like a big speaker. Yeah. Okay. Big speaker. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I haven't got the the remasters yet. I'm getting them in the mail, and by the way, I'm giving them away when I get them. You guys will will have a chance to win the box set of the LPs and the CDs. But somebody online was just saying, like, like, ah, oh, there's no difference, whatever. But I, I was sitting right here, actually, before we started, before we were in the green room tonight, and I was listening. And I, I just kind of went through, like, Mine Old Mine and the When It's Love. And I did hear some bass licks I'd never heard before. So, mm. well, that should be a pause. So, anyway, yeah, there, there is, there, there, definitely, you, you can hear, you can hear them. Right, Ron? So, are those... So are those Michael Anthony's bass licks, or are they Edward Van Halen's bass licks that you're hearing? I think they're Michael Anthony's. It, it sounded it so, sounded like Mike. Um, let's see. What else? Is, is that yes. Johnny Bean? Is, is that is. Johnny Bean? This, <laughs> this is. I'll be, and I'll be seeing him next month, Andy Summers. Uh, okay, so... I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys, we got Robbie the animal. It's like we had one more person, and it's it's like a full house. It's awesome. Robbie, how's the it animal going, everybody? Here. Happy Saturday night, people. Happy Saturday night, man. And uh, you're in Norman, Oklahoma, all the way from is it uh, Ohio? Yes, sir. Ron Gunner. Hello, everybody. <laughs> That sounds like Ohio. Yep, 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 yep. yep. <laughs> and all the way from Arizona, right? You're you're not in semi Phoenix. semi valley today. You're in you're in uh, Arizona. Before nope. Here. Back in the back in the saddle. Back to work. Fun time is over. I'm back in the saddle. No more Very fun. Good. Very good. Well, hey, tuning in from work actually is Haley Smith. Rocket Music Gear. Hello. And, Someone, go ahead. And Girls Smash Guitars. <laughs> I think I have that video. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Haley, Haley, yeah. first of all, welcome. Well, it's, it's great. It's great having you. You'll be here for a little while tonight. You yeah. guys know I've been talking. Actually, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and I'll show the video really quickly. I, I've been talking. I've been I've been promoting uh, your guitar straps and your 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 pick holders since I met you. I 
Here we go. Here's the video. I made this video. This is when I met when I met you at the uh, the swap meet, I guess it was, or the um, the uh, whatever that was in Alameda. Look at that. Explain to everybody what these are. What we're looking at. Oh, I think you're muted. Okay, I or was maybe, muted. Oh, I was oh there muted. we go. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. I don't know if I muted myself or what. No, oh. I think it automatically mutes everybody, I think, when I play oh, a video. Okay. I, I unmuted myself. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll play it again. Explain. Okay. Wait. <laughs> you might have to unmute yourself once I play it again. Well, I... Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm here. All right. All right. Rocket Music Gear. What it is? Within like 20 seconds of this video, explain like what are we looking at? What are these? These are pick holders. I primarily make guitar straps, but I just started taking up learning 3D and CAD design. So now I make pick holders and those are little mini pick holders. Those are strap blocks. Um, lots of pick holders. There's yeah. the straps. Lots of different kind of straps. A lot of flashy straps. Yes. There's mine. I bought one of those. He did. And he actually bought another. Yes. That's a, this really isn't like... I mean, it's a good example, but man, we have so much <laughs> more right now. <laughs> this is only like two months ago. I know, but we have... I got about a hundred more straps in since then and i showed you the walls but earlier on that instagram live yeah we were live on on the rocket music gear and the evh gear live instagram accounts you guys can actually find that on on haley's uh, instagram or in the uh on the community tab on the channel here there's a direct link to it we, we talked for about 20 minutes earlier this afternoon um but yeah. uh if but, the camera wasn't in this position, the wall of guitar straps is like literally over there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Martin Hensley, thank you for your support, man. See the lights turn green? Look at that. Green for yeah. money. <laughs> yes. Yes. So so hate so I, I, I went down to the, the, the post office today and I find this this I find this really interesting box in my in the in a locker at the at the post office look at this where did where did you where did you get this box this is actually this is so cool the magical box factory <laughs> <laughs> it's got fairy dust yeah exactly <laughs> it's exactly how they're made very cool so thank you again to rocket music gear we're gonna open this and let's just do it because I, I know you don't have much time I honestly forgot what's in there, so this will be fun. <laughs> Are you sure you aimed to open it on camera? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe okay. it's the video of the girls with the guitars. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Okay, let's see. Don't cut okay. yourself, Johnny. I'm going to try I'm gonna try not to. Whoops. There we go. So we're going to open this, and... You gotta play and the this, strip this, music. And there's giveaway stuff in here. Give a, we're doing you guys, we're doing giveaways, you guys. So you guys know how that works. If you if you want to uh, be eligible for the get for any giveaways on the channel here, you must participate in the live chat. Okay, so you have to be talking in the live chat, like Mike Olson, like Dan Gorman, like Holly Lewis, like Octopus Ears, like Martin Hensley, like and Rob not be Daddy. a panel member. <laughs> And you can't be on the panel. So there we go. You can check them out. Rocketmusicgear.com. Rocketpetgear.com. Cool. Look at that. I think you, you guys, you know, if, if you pause the video, you can scan the QR code. Right there. Okay, so you do have pet gear. That's an old card. I oh. grabbed it from the wrong pile, but it's fine. Oh. There's a few pet gear left, <laughs> but as of right now, not not much. You sent me a lot of those cards. Are they are these the oh. giveaways? 
Yeah, well, I sent the, a bunch just in case if you were sending out the giveaway stuff with Oh, okay. Them. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, so we'll, we'll be giving uh, giving cards away with the uh, with the giveaways. But let's 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 see. I tried to link the website in the chat, but it wouldn't let me. So. Oh right. I'm guessing links are blocked. Links are blocked. You have to you have to be a, uh, a what do you call it a moderator. Uh, to do oh wait. That. It let me do it, but it's like typed out. Let's see if it pops up. Yeah, no, I yeah. think it blocked me out. It's fine though. It's blocking. Yeah, our only moderator on the chat is on his way to, um, to like uh, Greece. Greece right now. He's actually on a plane right now, leaving <laughs> to like. He's right here in the chat. To he is. Are you here? Yeah. yeah he just said he was on the plane and leaving. Oh, going there he Greece is. Oh. Paris. <laughs> Dude. Well, hey, if you're in the chat, accept her her links. You you can uh, you can actually let those go. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. Wait, where's the? Look at that. Ah, oh, I want the skull one. We got guitar pick holders for you guys, dude. Is that C-3PO? It looks like it. <laughs> From the back. R2. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, R2. I met that guy, Anthony Daniels, and he had been drinking. Guess... So if you ever wanted to hear <gasps> C-3PO drunk, I've actually heard that. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Look at oh, that. <laughs> Look at that. So if you guys are wondering how these work, here, we'll, we'll got a couple of these. They're guitar pick holders. They hold your picks. Is that a Swiss pick? That is a Swiss pick. That's a cheese pick. Yeah, like Swiss cheese. I Swiss have Swiss American pick. cheese. Swiss picks. So there you go. So we'll, we'll be giving some of these away tonight, you guys. Very good. Very good. Haley, thank you so much. No problem. Yeah, those are cool. Yes. So uh let's see. Let's see. We got Rich. We got Rich over on Facebook. Says those are awesome. Yeah. Noel. Noel is here. Hey, awesome Kramer man. Scott is here. The skull everybody everybody's liking the skull ones. Uh, Haley, yeah. Uh, Martin Hensley's asking, uh, do you have straps that are really padded because he has a bad shoulder? Mm, extra I have padding. One, I have one strap that has extra padding. You would have to send me a message, and I could point it out to you. From what I've heard, everyone says my straps are comfortable, but I feel like it always depends on the person, you know, to say if they're comfortable or not. And mm -hmm. then um, three-inch straps. I hope to be launching by next year, early next year. So that's kind of where it's at for now. Very cool. Yeah, we were talking before the show started about about getting some uh, some custom straps. Yeah, that reflective strap's cool. Oh, the one Johnny claimed right here. Yeah, show that one off. Yeah, look at Johnny that. Johnny claimed that one? What does that mean? Yeah, I claimed oh. it er earlier today. Oh yeah well i'm sure you have more than one. Oh yeah yeah actually i sent uh, you a uh i sent you a, yeah okay there you go yeah i sent you a <laughs> message over on instagram so okay I'll I'll one up this week. okay he's got he's got a grip holly so he'll <laughs> he has a grip on that one there he'll buy the whole whole stack <laughs> right on <laughs> they were asking about shiny ones. My boyfriend's here helping me get straps or if anyone asks for anything. Like, I know someone asked a minute ago for the Lego guitar. <laughs> right. See, that's that's how oh, that's, that's cool. how that's how we we kind of we kind of met was I yeah. saw I saw Haley. I, I, I saw all these photos 
of of you guys at the NAMM show walking around with that Van Halen Lego guitar. Yeah. And, and then that was that was a year ago? Maybe, two years two, ago. Two year two years ago. Yeah, because we I, didn't take guitars to the last NAMM. Okay, so that was two years ago. Yeah, I saw yeah. that and then and then uh uh I was gonna see you guys at this last NAM, I guess, but we we ended up not. It didn't work out. But then, yeah, I you you guys were gonna be at closer to to me in, in the. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm in Santa I'm in Santa Cruz, but in Alameda, California, there was like mm-hmm. a, a swap meet or yeah. or whatever that is, and you were there, mm-hmm. and and that that's finally how we met. But yeah, two but, years uh, later. <laughs> two years later, but we've been we've been like yeah. on Instagram for a while though. Because you were telling yeah. me you got you guys knew me as the EVH guy. You guys didn't mm-hmm. even know my name. You're just like, no. oh, that's EV, that's EVH dude. Yeah, I'm so bad with names, and usually if there's like a username, and I'm just like, yeah, that's the EVH guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, explain to people what what are those guitars? Those. So yeah. you know, the, they were based off that Lego Strat set. Uh huh. And it's just upscaled. And then um, I had a red one left over, and Josh wanted to put the EVH stripes on it. I made this one prior. But um, mm-hmm. we actually got invited to Fender because of these. Uh, Paul Waller, the master builder, reached out to us because he's seen them. And we got invited to Fender, which was really cool. I have a picture of these guys on the Fender floor, which is funny because they're like made of plastic. But. Um, you can see on the back, it's made in sections. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven pieces. Mm-hmm. I don't remember how many hours this took to build, but I remember it was a lot of hours. Um, these were obviously my first two. So there's a lot of things I would change about it. But, I mean, it did the job for Nam. They're kind of not really playable anymore because mm-hmm. you can see it's bowing. But, mm. I mean, it did the job for Nam, and I know ways to make it better. But, I mean, it like I said, it did the job. It looked awesome. They played well. They stayed in tune. So. Mm-hmm. Right on. That's awesome. That's, That's so cool. cool. Right, there's a lot of people in the chat asking for her website. So, you know, it's is this the one that you want us to use? It's on the screen right now. Yeah. I'm contacting the one on the you screen. for okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, do you want to take this guitar back for me, please? I don't want to set it down. Yeah, so so that's uh, so the, the link on the screen is your Etsy store. Yeah. Where where you guys can order. You guys can order. Um, but you're you're everywhere. You're on Instagram. You're on. Uh, you were just telling us you're on YouTube. Oh yeah, well. yeah. I think I commented on here a few times. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's see. I'll send a message. There, that's in the chat now. It'll take a minute to ping over. There you go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, my boyfriend and I sometimes will do videos. Most of the times, I do videos showing off the guitar straps. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I've, I've been using one the past uh, what couple months since I saw it since I met you guys at the uh, the uh, I keep saying swap meet but it wasn't a swap meet it, it, it was, was like a, a vendor flea market thing flea market they called it they called it like a rock and roll free, uh, flea market rock and roll flea market so you guys when you guys see me on Sunday nights and I play this guitar you see the strap yeah. I use that that's this this is one of her straps. Yeah. Right here. But I'm getting another one. Yes. As well. These are cool. Second. I mean they change colors and and yeah. you also have a bunch of printed ones too. Oh yeah. Um uh, let's see. With with a lot of cool like designs and like I just got a huge yeah. bucket. Got a huge bucket here. You were saying that's a really popular one too. Oh yeah. I I'm glad I got these back in stock. These ones are really cool. And it's upside down, but oh, light's making it kind of hard, but yeah. This one's funny, this one's sharks in space. 
<laughs> They're pretty absurd. Oh, this one's this one. These are the ones we want to make belts out of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we were talking on 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 the Instagram live earlier, mm-hmm. uh, I was I was, and I remember when I met you at the at the uh, I keep saying swap meet, mm-hmm. whatever flea that was, market. flea flea market. market. I'm gonna, Janice, uh-huh. send me a tweet reminding me to say flea market. Okay, I I remember saying I remember somebody coming up and saying, "Are these belts?" A lot of people <laughs> thought they were just a, a table full of belts. And and uh, and so we when we were talking earlier, I think it was on the Instagram live on your on your on our Instagram accounts. I was saying, well, you, you should make make belts, too, or suspenders. You should make like those suspenders as like a guitar, a guitar strap or whatever. You know, Josh was talking about that. The one where I guess you can like flip the guitar with the suspenders or something like that. Oh, the ZZ top. Yeah, the ZZ top. Yeah, that's who did it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, but I love when people come up and ask me, are, like, are these belts? And a lot of the guitar straps say guitar strap on them. So I just say yes. And then they really look at them and they're like, these are guitar straps, aren't they? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but wow. belts hopefully will be launching next year. Mm-hmm. That, that that'd be cool. That'd be cool. So, so what? what tell tell us like some. So, who are some of your like musical influences? Like, who, who do you, who do you listen to? I will say Van Halen is a big one. Not just because I'm here, but Van Halen what, really is. What about Van Hagar? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm it's mostly just like guitar players though. Like whenever I think of like my musical influences or like guitar players, like Eric Johnson's another big one that I really like. Mm-hmm. Let's see who else. Um Oh yeah, Steve Vai's another one. I ju- people will make fun of my fingers because they're very long and I tell them that Steve Vai is my grandpa when they make rude comments. <laughs> uh-huh. You oh mean, no, it's, you, glitch, it's glitching what? out. Come on, Johnny, hit it. You you mean this guy right here? Johnny. Hey yes. Johnny. I'm over here. Hope oh, I'm over here. Where? Over here, Johnny. <laughs> hey Johnny, how hey. you doing? This is Steve. Hey Steve. So that guy right there? That's yeah. your grandfather. That's, That's your grandpa? grandpa? No yeah. way. Yeah. I want to get him a guitar strap so bad because they're like super shiny, but I I think he's too into the DiMarzios, which is fine. I totally get that, but maybe someday. Mm-hmm. Oh, Orianthi's another one I've always loved. I I remember when I was little, I watched the This Is It video, and that's where I seen her from. And I actually got to see Orianthi play, and I got to see Richie Sambora play uh, back when I was like 16, 17. Uh huh. So yeah. So yeah, it goes. It ranges all the way from Van Halen to Taylor Swift. There, hey, that's exactly <laughs> my my. Uh, <laughs> seriously, I'm not kidding. You think I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm not, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I, oh my gosh, you have a Midnight CD. I yeah, I love this album. I listen to this album every day. Oh my god. Every have day you, I listen to it. Have you ever seen her live? No, but that I know you you guys went to that last show that literally mm-hmm. caused an earthquake. <laughs> right? There was so right. many people dancing at the stadium over yeah. there. Mm-hmm. It was insanity. I it was all over the the, the news, you know? Um so no. I have yeah, not no. seen her live yet, although I did tell you I, I met her guitar player. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I met yeah. him, you know. He's a cool yeah. guy. Yeah. Her um, other guitar player, Grant Michelson, uh, was my guitar teacher. So, oh, oh, that's cool. I, I don't have it here, but I do have a really cool guitar uh, from there. But, um, yeah. I have that. 
no, I don't. There's a lot of guitars in here, so I forget which ones are here and which ones aren't. <laughs> but we live in a small shop, so mm-hmm. and then there's some at home. So there's that. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I know you do have a lot of guitars there because I saw them on the on the <laughs> Instagram. Uh, oh yeah, and a lot of pink guitars. Earlier. Got like. Got a purple Kramer, got a neon pink Ibanez RG. Um, let's see, pink Strat, pink Fender Cyclone Strat. What else is over there? Josh has a sparkly um, Kramer, and then another blue Strat. <laughs> Lots of things there. Oh, he's gonna here. He's gonna give me like. The one with oh, right the looking strap on it. Blue Mox. Thank you. That, for Robbie's gongs. Look at that. That's a cool strap. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. My boyfriend has all the cool red guitars, and then I have all the cool pink and purple ones. <laughs> mm-hmm. That? Oh, we got, like, this fantastic little thing right here. <laughs> Anna Montana. <laughs> Girl, you have a Hello Kitty guitar? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Ron, um, do you? And no. the purple one. Not anymore. Let's see. I traded it to Dane. Oh, gosh. No. I actually might have one. Somebody was going to give me one at some point. Oh, oh look at that. Gosh. Wait a minute. <laughs> I love you need to put guitar, a Vega tram on that. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, hey, this. you got the same guitar. I got the same one. Mine has what's called a Vega tram, which is a super awesome tremolo. Oh, I, I know. I thought about putting the Vega tram on mine, but um, it's no. expensive, but it's cool. No way. <laughs> Actually, here, put that one back to you. Uh, you can grab the pink RG. That one has the whammy system i guess the closest steve by guitar i got just doesn't have the handle hole <laughs> oh yeah yeah those are cool <laughs> mpn is here hey oh, dude. here we go there you go i think this That's was cool. like the it was one of the anniversary guitars too does it say it up here uh 25th no anniversary. 25th anniversary so Oh, cool. This is my one with the board and back mm-hmm. triple system. Mm hmm. Wow. That's, yeah. A lot of cool guitars. Wow. And you got cool amps there, too. I did. Yeah, see. we have. You got. Oh, yeah. We have two 5150s. Yes. <laughs> and then my boyfriend has the Marshall Jubilee. And then there's just a box, and then I have like an old vintage guild down over there. Mm-hmm. I would show it, but the camera is it's kind of stuck. I can't it, I can't move it. Mm-hmm. No, that's cool. Nor, no, but I love those fifty one fifties. Um, I don't know if you guys watch Sixty Cycle Hum, but yeah. um, I was on their guitar house, and um, that video where they're on the trampoline. Uh, Ryan gave us this guitar with um, a wireless system on it, and I did not know what I was plugging into. And actually, conveniently enough, he gave me this guitar, and I did play Van Halen on it just because of how it sounded, and I did not know what I was playing on. Uh-huh. And when I was done bouncing on the trampoline playing this guitar, I was like, what is this thing Like I'm playing on? I want it. And then he tells me, he goes, oh, it's a 5150, and I'm like, I have to buy that. So I think... A few, what, about five, six months ago, I finally bought one, and then I talked my boyfriend into buying one. So we have the black and the white 5150 combos. Mm-hmm. The new ones, the Iconics. Yeah, the new, the Iconics, yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, we actually we actually had the, the designer uh, on this show. Uh, a oh, wow. Back of those, yeah. yeah They're really great. great amps. I was playing on a box before, and I wasn't the greatest but the 5150 just blows it out of the water oh man two totally different amplifiers exactly but i but 
I'm, I told you earlier, like all my guitars, even my Fender Strats, I don't know why I play Fenders because every time I get a Strat or anything with a single coil, I switch out the bridge pickup and I put a humbucker in it. It just... Mm -hmm. So my boyfriend teased me. He goes, I don't know why you don't play Gibsons. And I go, I don't know. <laughs> just ended up with Strats. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, two totally different t types of guitars. Oh, yeah. Um... But, uh, you know, I mean, like, like, let's say like, like our friend Ron here, Ron Gunner, you know, Ron, what are your, fa your favorite guitars or, or like, uh, like the Jackson's like metal and metal ESPs. style yep. and ESPs. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, and, and I, then, uh, I mean, all mine are like the super strat type deal. I only have the one Telecaster and I have a, you know, what, what? I don't, well, total, I don't know how many total, but here I have five V's, but most of them are this style. So. Mm -hmm. I think my, oh yeah, I was like, my boyfriend has a really cool LTD over here. Here, I'll show off his guitars, because they're probably, they're much cooler than mine. There you go. <laughs> this fancy thing. Oh, wow. That's an LTD? Wow, that, that looks so much like like a like a Gibson. Yeah, I don't know Firebird. much about it. Yeah, Firebird. Josh knows more about LTD it. What'd you say? LTD Phoenix One Thousand. She said it's called an LTD Phoenix One Thousand. You might be able to hear him. But... Yeah. I like the fret markers. Yeah. Here's your guitar back. Wow, that's wild. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, we all like guitars. Yeah. I mean, look, look at Forty Grit. Look behind him. Look. Oh, I know. I was admiring his um, collection whenever we were first hopping on in that green room. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Look at that. Thank you. Wow. Lots of heroes there. Lots of heroes. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Lots of heroes there. Yeah, a lot of a lot of stuff. Um, let's see, let's see. What do we? Uh, you guys smash that thumbs up, smash that subscribe. Like I said, we're trying to get to ten thousand six hundred. I think we're like twenty away. Ryan. So, huh? Ryan said hi to me. Ryan hey. Hall's in the house, Johnny. He's saying hi to everybody. What up, Ryan? How you doing, man? What's What's up, dude? Sky. Lewis. Oh, Sky Props in the house. Mm -hmm. Johnny Rock. Janice, the intern, is here. Bri, the sign guy, is here. Jeff Davidson, who will probably win one of these. He wins all, <laughs> all the giveaways. But uh, there we go. So we'll, we'll, we'll spin. We'll give a few of these away tonight. What, what yeah, hey, the... make, sure, make sure you guys check out Haley's website. Pick up a strap. I mean that uh, that one strap that she's got looks pretty cool. That uh, red one was pretty cool too. The one you had on the uh, on that uh, was it the pacer, the red oh, pacer. The yeah, that the sparkly guitar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah check out uh, check out Haley and supporter. Buy a strap. Buy two. <laughs> yeah, buy two. Buy two. Send the other buy, one to Johnny. Buy one for each of us. <laughs> <laughs> well the, the, this guy right here has like 200 guitars sitting there and oh i think God. he needs new guitar straps for each one of them i just actually oh. bought one today uh-huh <laughs> from rocket music gear no i did not know ah. you bought a I strap will, today or you bought a guitar today uh, both <laughs> both <laughs> You bought a guitar that came with the strap. No, no, no. I bought the guitar and the strap I got at the local music store. <laughs> Haley, do you ever buy guitar straps? Or you just, <laughs> you, you make them? Yeah, I make them. I have... <laughs> like, you ever I... go to the store and be like, that's a nice strap. I'll buy that. Or you just go home and you make yeah. it. You just no, go home and I make just... it. Or I just judge the guitar straps by their quality. 
<laughs> I can't say too much because we're live. We'll have to spend another time talking about other guitar shafts, but I can't do that here. Oh, okay. we nope. actually we actually did talk about that when when we met oh, at yeah. the uh, what was it called the the flea market? Yeah, the rock yeah. flea market. At the flea market, we actually mm -hmm. I remember we did talk. Uh, yeah, and I'm like, that's it. That's very interesting. You know. Yeah, some aren't my friends, mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's okay. They like to rip off my ideas, which is not fun. But well, I know what that's yeah. like. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey. I know a guy can take care of that for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ron, Scott Nickerson wants to know what guitar you bought. Another Jackson soloist. Oh, wow. well, you know. <laughs> it's not Actually, I was, I, Do we have any of those crackers? I was going to, uh, I went, looked at uh, Dane's site. Because he had uh, one I was interested in, and now a banner across top of the screen says "local pickup only." Oh no! <laughs> yep. Well, I mean, he did. He did ship for a little while. Yeah, I mean, he shipped two to me, and I shipped two to. Well, yeah, no, I shipped three to him. He shipped two to me, and no issues with any of them. So I don't know why he quit. Hmm. But it's it's right across top of the page. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sure he'd probably make an exception for you. He probably got burned or something. You know what I'm saying? Dane's super cool, man. I'm sure he'd be flexible for you. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, that's what I said. I don't know what happened. Hmm. I need to go and see him. Maybe I'll go see hey, Dane on Tuesday. Yes, ma'am. Do you have one of those like holographic Crackle Jacksons that look like this? Oh, uh, the Hall of Flash. No, yeah. I do not. Oh, bummer. oh that's cool. I, I had a Hall of Flash Kramer <laughs> at one time. Mm -hmm. uh, that's cool. I sold that, but yeah, it, yeah, that's what it looked like. Is that a three inch? That looks no, like a three inch. Is, that, is two it? Inch. That's she just a cool held it closer to the camera. I think you need to spend more time showing your straps is what I think you need to do right now. Yeah. Um, let's see. Did you're I having, a, show? You're having a deal right now, though, right? You're you're having a... a, a uh, What's the er, deal? Earlier today. Well, well I was until on you, my Until Instagram. you got... Until... <laughs> until Instagram wouldn't let me post any more stories. But there's guitar straps... On my stories for special prices if you send me a DM. Just a message, though. Don't send me anything. I'm dead serious. Don't send me anything I don't want. Just a nice <laughs> message I want. That, uh -huh. not, nothing. Nothing. But, um... DM DeLorean Motor Cars? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. She probably story? doesn't know what that is, Ron. You're dating <laughs> yourself. <laughs> So here's the one I, heard... I bought today. So. Oh. Yeah, she's Wait, like, what? oh, anyways. Yeah. 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 That? <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyways. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyways. Yeah. Well, they didn't have any of hers at the store. I got one. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, Ron. Oh, yeah. Look at yeah, that. Sure. There you go. You're going to hand me some shiny. Oh, this one's awesome. This is the one I want to get to Steve by. This would be it. But yeah. Yeah, that's cool looking. Wow. Where's the. Oh, and here's just like a plain holographic one. That's the one I want. The... That one's cool looking. This one's awesome. Yeah, hey, that's put, a good one. Save that one for 40 grit. All right. Yeah, I might put have 40 some grit on that. Though. I will. Here, I sent you, you a message one? already. Okay. I sent you a message already on Instagram, so. Okay. Yeah, my boyfriend's gonna write your name on it for you. Oh, cool. <laughs> so he's gonna put that there. Uh, let's see. Oh, more shiny. Any specific colors? Anyone have specific colors? What? What? What is that? Pink? Looks pink. That's pink and like holographic. Yeah. That's cool looking. What color was the one that he just set aside? Is that like a silver holographic? Yeah. 
That's a silver holographic. Okay. Yeah, that that's cool. I wish you you could make one that had the crackle finish on it, like that. Uh, she did. She just showed it. Well, that that was the well, that was a hologram. Um, the I have, where, where are all those cracked ones right there? Can you hand me those, please? Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Get ready, Ron. Oh, well, wait a minute. Now we're talking. Let's see. Um, this one's like, let's get the light right here. This one's cracked. It's like a Paul Stanley uh, strap yeah. right there. Yeah. Paul Stanley is another person I'd love to get the strap to, specifically this silver one. Yeah, but. that's cool looking. And then here's black. Black to me is the least, it's very subtle. But then there is a gold. Hmm. And then, do you have the purple one by chance, Josh? Oh, silver. Then... Now, if I if I would have bought the other guitar today, that gold one would have went perfect because I almost bought the all gold uh, Jackson Solos Pro. It's out. Purple's cool. Look at that. Yeah, it's it's purple and holographic, and then it has these rainbow parts on them, which is really cool. Oh, that's cool. And then it has the rainbow adjuster on it. That's neat. Nice. And those People are all say, sixty inch. That one that you're holding the sixty inch. Uh, long. Yeah, lengthwise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and Ron, people Ronnie in the Parker chat are saying green. Any, any, green. Any, any. A lot of people are saying green. Any okay. Greens. Green is always uh, a weird color. Ronnie Ronnie Parker wants to know if you have any lightning bolt straps. Lightning bolt straps. Nope. Oh no, the purple Wait, one. What purple one? The purple, the purple and black one. Right oh yeah, I do have one right here actually. Lightning. I have the one in the bucket. Got it. There you go, Ronnie Parker. She's got one. Look at that. Oh, that's uh, yeah, cool I like looking, that. man. Yeah, I like that. Oh man, that's cool yeah. looking. Now, if I had a purple crackle, I'd buy that one. Well, here's a green one. Oh, there upside down. Yeah, this one has like skulls and roses on it. Nice. Yeah, you got yeah. some cool stuff. Yeah, That's know. really pretty. And if you go on to our SD for like these type of straps, so since like the fabric is kind of laid out weird, I've like numbered each strap so you could specifically pick which one you like the best if that makes there sense because you, you know fabric the way they're cut or printed can be kind of weird sometimes so each strap is like slightly different so you can go on there and pick which one you like the best damn now mm -hmm. i wish i had a purple all purple guitar i'd have that strap <laughs> <laughs> i think you should get the lightning bolt one ron <laughs> I think what else is in there. There's a few stuff that's discontinued at this oh, point. Green. Oh, Ron likes the discontinued stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's just this. It's discontinued sometimes, mostly not by choice. It's because um, it's because I can't find the fabric again, so it ends up being gone. Oh. This strap, uh, this is the last. Now one that of that would have went with the solar that I yeah. traded to Dane. Casey that's Musgraves like, has this one. That's like the exact color that solar was. Uh, Louis Villarreal wants to know if you have a strap with music notes on it. Um, no, I do not have one that has music notes. I have one. Though. No, that's. They ask for music notes. I just, I have, I have your guitar center receipt though, right here. <laughs> yeah oh that's cool ah, just say that. say funny. say no discounts allowed on it yeah there's actually some <laughs> is that the one with the easter eggs in it yeah this is the one with the easter eggs in it uh the total is actually 5150 on it <laughs> let's see what else is on here. no warranty and no returns yeah there's a 1984 reference
Jeff Davison is asking, I'm, I'm sure, it's, are they all the same price or are they different prices for the different ones? They're all different prices. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, <laughs> Jeff, you're going to have to go to the website and look. Yeah, hit her up. Yeah, and then something else fun we've added is on these Velcro straps. But like, oh, yeah, those were in the video. Yeah, those were in the video yeah. there, yeah. Uh, Johnny. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So so when somebody orders a Velcro strap, do they have a, their choice of what uh, what patches to, to get with it? Uh, no, but I usually just throw a few in for fun. I mm -hmm. thought of throwing band patches in there, but then the problem is, is like, what if someone hates Guns N' Roses? I know there's someone out there that hates Guns N' Roses and is not going to appreciate that. <laughs> hey, I like Guns N' Roses. I, I saw yeah. it. That look looked like you didn't. <laughs> Back off, who, who hates gun, Guns N' Roses? There's someone. There's always someone. <laughs> I think it hates Ron more than Guns N' Roses. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I plead the fifth. The infamous. I think he uh, hates Sabian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a. I'm not a fan of Zildjian and Sabian. No. There the we go. Infamous. That's that one's neat. Guitar strap. Guitar, I like to call it the guitar strap. Guitar strap. Mm-hmm. Or you could make them that say, this is not a belt. That might be coming. <laughs> <laughs> Buy that strap and use it for the saxophone. That really can mm -hmm. throw people off. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's that cat's on amp strap? Oh, Haley, the okay. slushy strap said sold out. Any chance of a restock? The slushy strap. Um, was that on... I'm guessing that was on SD. Okay, I know I have slushy straps. Send me an Instagram message. There you go, No. Very good. I know I have some in. We were just going through all these today. So. For Noel. That's right, Are Jeff. You, that was a great show in Oklahoma a, City. He, he's going to grab some slushy straps. I know we have. i just seen it. And we have a few. Oh, here. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have a lot of really cool uh, uh, graphic straps with really cool well, yeah. graphics. Look, look at that one. Look at that. That's like Zora, the cat, <laughs> sitting on Robbie's <laughs> amplifier. Uh, speaker. Yeah, that is cool. So right now, she's on the big dumper cabinet in the other room. She's, well, here's she's one of the slushy dump, straps. There you go. Martin there Hensley, Martin Hensley oh, wants right to know. Martin Hensley wants to know if uh, how your straps hold up to a seven string guitar. Um, these are all made with super stuff, uh, tough, like, um, what is this one made out of? This is like polypropylene. Pro it's like seatbelt material. I mean, this stuff is tough. Like I, I can't, I can't break it. Um, we actually used another strap for his double deck and had no problem with it. Hmm. Oh, here's another slushy strap. I don't know. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, those are awesome. You know, Big Mac strap. Big Mac. <laughs> we have it, it, like um, an in and out kind of guitar strap. Lewis oh, saying, there we go. Lewis is saying skull straps. And then, okay, found it. Okay, well, it's a small one. It's a skinny one, but it's, I have it in two inch, too. Here's an inch and a half, but I do have it in two inch. Oh, that's like the cup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the in and out burger. Oh, red, red palm trees. Yeah. Yeah, red palm trees. Are that's cool. where I go to eat at the airport, by the airport, Robbie. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, someone was asking for skull straps. Yes, Lewis. Wins. I just know that one. Oh yeah, here's a pink and black skull one. I have a, I have many of this strap in different color variations. Here's the red. Oh, and here's a red one in the same. 
Skulls. Ooh, now that would look good on my red solos. Yeah. And then another. Yeah, pink and purple. But yeah, these straps on my SD are listed by number. So you can pick exactly which strap you want because the way fabric is cut and everything and how wide this is, they're all mm -hmm. slightly different. But yeah, if anyone, you can go on there and pick exactly what strap you want. I think oh. that's fabulous. Here's a really pretty golden blue. Oh, it's that's cool looking. Oh my gosh. Nice. I'm dyslexic, so this this whole camera thing is. So it should be right me. if if you're dyslexic, yeah. it should be right for you now. No, that's not how that works, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, so many awesome designs. Yeah, for sure. She you guys haven't there. even seen all of them. There's so many of them. It's, we'll it's be crazy. here till midnight if I keep going. <laughs> yeah. But I you, feel you, like you, it's it's like Home Shopping Network now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's what this channel is actually turning into, is Home Shopping Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. The, the no, no. Rate, I, the, the I'm actually, I'm, be, come get I'm your strap all, on. I'm actually... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, you got like no taste at all, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's drinking ocean spray. Yeah. yeah. Diet. If it was regular, yeah. I'd be fine. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's one of those heat. You guys, you guys haven't even seen these. Check out these are these are heat activated, right? Yeah, these are ones changed with heat. Just... Oh, that's cool. They actually, yeah. It's not very warm in here at all, but yeah. Look at that. Hmm. So you could put that and see exactly where you're sweating as you're playing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or if and it's then... just hot, like Arizona, it'll be perfectly colored. It'll just stay red all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. And and you've you've got the straps that change colors too in the in the in the sun. I'll be right I there. have like a, a UV one. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't show it right now because it's not going to work, but it's mm -hmm. white and it goes, um, like purple, but it's super, super fast. Oh, this one. Here you go. It's actually neon pink. This cool. one is. It's only 44 oh, cool. degrees here right now. So it would, it would be the darker color. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of flip flop, it's hot flop. Oh, yeah. Props, have, what's like, up, man? Typical, like just plain chrome straps in different colors. This is like a purple, even though it looks kind of blue. Mm hmm. Yeah, I dig those. I think I think they're awesome. Ooh, a McRib strap. <laughs> a McRib strap. <laughs> they only come out with it once a year for a certain amount of time. <laughs> That's that's genius marketing. <laughs> Works for them. Oh, Josh, could you give me the camouflage and the camouflage? <laughs> Greasy these are, monkey. These are, these are funny. Let's see this is the front. So we have. Camouflage, <laughs> and we have camouflage. Hey, oh. Laz is gonna need that one. <laughs> camel, camel. So that, that that that's in camel. Yeah. Oh, have those are cool. Two on those. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, I didn't even know about those. So many different ones. That's awesome. I, how how long have you been have you, have you been uh, making the straps and the the uh, pick holders uh, and stuff? In December, it'll be six years that I've been at Rocket Music Gear, like building my brand since mm -hmm. I launched it. Um, I I actually made um, a light up guitar strap seven eight years ago. Oh wow! And then. Um, 
I should have had that ready on camera. <laughs> I think you showed it to me at that flea market. Yeah, but I didn't have Thanks. um what do you call it? The battery. I didn't have the battery. Or something. You'd left it at yeah. home. Yeah. Yeah. Oh good. This one has the whole thing and I was charging a rechargeable battery. I got it. Sweet. So this this should work. Oh wow. Oh nice. This will work. You should good. buy him dinner. He's working really hard. Oh, here we go. Oh, it might be too bright. Hold on. Look at Johnny. That. There you go for Sunday night, right there. Yeah. Are this those is still the little... available? Yeah, they're still available. Uh, this one's just my bigger one. This is two and a half inches wide. Mm -hmm. I have the guitar strap size. You can see the two strips of LEDs running in it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is like the biggest of big straps for the light up one. Wow. But it's also sound activated and it has a remote. I don't have the remote right now on here. There you go, Johnny. It's Sunday but, night yeah. strap right there. Yeah. Steve we might need to kid. we might need to talk. I might need yeah. Oh, yeah. I think there's like three hundred and fifty <laughs> plus modes. Oh cool. So here's the two inch guy. Wow. But actually, I can, I'll can i switch it over so you can see it. Amazing. Yeah, I, I, I can see that on Sunday night, Johnny. Yeah. There you go. Two inch. Oh, I, I would definitely rock those, man. Look at that. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. And I think <laughs> I said it. That is great. I mean, it's this on, on sound activated mode right now, but it has a mode where it can be sound activated. Mm hmm. Meaning, like, whatever it hears, like, like there's a built in mic, like, somewhere in there. And... Yeah. Uh, I said I don't have the. Oh, there. No, this isn't sound. Maybe yeah, it, it is. is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's neat. I think so. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But either way, you have a remote. It comes with I could remote. just wear that on all these shows. There you go. <laughs> Can you make that into a belt? And a tie. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you can make suspenders like that, I would wear those <laughs> on these shows. Oh, that'd be amazing. He's the enlightened EVH guy. <laughs> Well, maybe we could do something. I've wanted, I've always wanted to make one that had EVH stripes on it. I'm not, not to sell because I'm not going to play with that right. game. Right. Right. But I've wanted to make one with stripes. So we should talk and maybe we could get you the one. I mean, you would be the best guy to represent the one with stripes. Wait, can you, you say, can you, can you say that again real fast? That you'd be the best guy to represent the one with the stripes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> thank you thank you very much Mike. thank you very much <laughs> wow <laughs> amazing so much cool stuff I, this is awesome v9 <laughs> look at this comment <laughs> yeah no. Mikey Lawless would need that. Not here, but um <laughs> But um oh yeah, you were asking me like how I got started and all that and but yeah. light up strap on the ground that I just showed you, I made that first eight, nine years ago now. And um Like how um, did you make that? Like were were you just into into making LEDs or how did you get started even in, in uh um, I've always liked to build things, and then my guitar teacher and I, we were, like, joking around one day, and we're like, it'd be really cool to make a guitar strap that was, like, any color, and my guitar strap, my guitar teacher kind of said it jokingly, and I was like, I can do that, and so, like, a few weeks later, I need to go back and find the picture, but I made myself one, I made him one, and shipped it off to Nashville, because we were having um, lessons over Skype. So we have a picture somewhere with our light up guitar straps. And now like that version you just seen, that's version five, which and then I'm about to be on version six. So mm -hmm. they have come a long way. Well, you need to get Johnny a belt, strap, suspenders, 
a tie, <laughs> and a hat. He wants band. like sounds like you want the whole quarter, national lamp for Christmas. Quarter, I'll take all of hat it. band. <laughs> hey, yeah, I, I want. Go ahead. I want to congratulate you on having a business for six years, and you're oh. still going. That's incredible. Thank you so yep. much. Especially right now. Yeah. Really good. yeah. This six years and you're still going. That's that's great. Yeah. It's been quite the up and down thing, but I mean, it's worth it. I've gotten to get, you know, gotten to be so many cool places. I think you heard me say Casey Musgrave wears my guitar straps. And she found my stuff on SD and her tour manager. Um, well, it's kind of a long story, but um, one of my friends who plays for Kane Brown was at Bridgestone Arena and saw my lighted guitar strap on one of her uh, bandmates and sends me a video and goes, hey, look what I'm looking at. And I was like, no way. And I'm like, I mean, I know that's mine, but I'm like, no way. And so mm -hmm. after that ended up coming out, somehow I met the tour manager and the guitar tech over Instagram. We were chatting. And then they said, hey, if we come close by to you, uh, we'll get you in. And I said, okay. And I said, and they wanted me to bring more light-up straps. And I said, I will. I go, but here's the thing. I go, I, I appreciate the tickets. I go, but you have to kind of get me backstage. And I go, because I don't want to walk through security with all these light-up guitar straps. They look kind of suspicious, and I don't know if they'll let me in. <laughs> and they're like, oh, no big deal. We'll get you taken care of. So, like. We go in, so we get told to go to this back parking lot. All of a sudden, I'm giving my name to these security guards, and they're walkie-talking me in, getting me into the backstage of this arena. And all of a sudden, I'm backstage with all these guitar straps, talking to the tour manager. The tour manager gave me a whole tour. And then um, I didn't meet Casey because she was flying in, but it was still super cool. I got to see the whole stage. I got a whole tour of that. I got thrown in the pit. And as we were sitting there in the pit, Casey just kept coming out with my guitar straps. because I brought other guitar straps. So it was really fun and exciting to watch that. So, I mean, that's like one of the many cool things that has been, that has came out of working for my business, I guess. Mm -hmm. And, and for those that don't know, Casey Musgraves is a, she's, she's a country singer. Um, dude, amazing, Ama amazing, yes, amazing stuff. Yeah. Um, I know you said that you, you only have about an hour and it's been like, it's been, <laughs> it's been an hour. Cause that, you're, 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 you guys are going somewhere tonight. I know. Uh, um, our friend has a birthday party gig, but I think they're going for a while. It only started 15 minutes ago. It's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> Go for another You're not like minutes. the singer or anything. <laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> you don't have uh, guitar straps to deliver, do you? <laughs> no, but I have done that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's his birthday tonight. He might be expecting another one. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, Johnny, if you get the lighted one, you're going to have to have Janice send you tweets. To remind you to recharge it. Yes, that that's true. Yeah. Oh no! I'll yeah. just send you an I'll send you an Amazon link, and you can buy like four battery packs and have them charged and ready to go. You'll never run out. Right on. Well, I mean, I'm 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 I'm, I'm I mean I'm I'm to this. That's oh, what I do. That that's that'll what I last do. you for life. <laughs> yeah, I mean it'll be heavy on my back, but yeah. There you go. Uh, Brian, the sign guy wants to know if you make three inch straps in leather. Um, no, I kind of stick away from the leather straps. Nothing against them. They're just a lot harder to work with. And, um, originally when I started making all my guitar straps, I was making it on like a cheap hundred dollar singer sewing machine. So I never got into leather because that stuff's really hard to work with and got to have an expensive sewing machine. And I, I, as you can see, I purposely made everything like flashy. I wanted everything to be different from what's on the market. So... Mm -hmm. That's why everything is obnoxiously colored. <laughs> like I said, I dig it. 
I love some people dig strap. it. Some people hate it. I've I've asked a few guitar players like, hey, you want to wear my guitar straps, which I don't do often. And they'll be like, no, I just like a black poly pro strap. And I'm like, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you were talking to Tony Iommi. <laughs> <laughs> I think Martin Hensley was asking if you could make a five inch wide padded strap custom for him. Um, that's, that's another thing that's a bit out of my department, five inch wide. I don't really go that far as of right now. I have an inch and a half wide, two inches, and then three inch strap should be coming by next year. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I showed you guys one earlier. This was just a little prototype that I did right. myself. I like but that. They, I like the width. Uh, I like to order one with a picture of my cat Zora on it. Just just one yeah. picture. It doesn't have to be all. Yeah. And yeah. by next year, I might actually have the money to do that. <laughs> well, no problem. But yeah, so these will be coming. And when you get into more sizes... You have to pay for another stamp. It's like a whole, it's a whole thing. You have to find this part and get to find this part. You have to, it's like basically starting all over again, just to, you know, because of the size. Another they're all, yeah. Cause of the size. They're bigger. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I know some people make some that go from here to a smaller one, but it looks terrible. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want that to fly. So I was like, no, we're getting the big stamp and we're just having different ends. Cause I didn't want to have a two inch, you know, like a skinny little end on this big strap because I just don't think oh, yeah, that, that looks would good. Look, no, it would Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty picky with the straps. I I mean, there's a lot, probably so much nerdy stuff I know about them, like quality-wise from the backing to the hardware to everything. I don't like nothing against cheap straps, but, I mean, if I was going to do it and make it, I wanted to make them decent and good quality and last so they don't look like ratchet straps, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> a lot of straps out there look like that. And then if you uh -huh. want one that looks decent, it's ridiculous money. I mean, mm -hmm. you got if anybody that likes wider straps, you want to like a guitar center, mm -hmm. and those straps are like, you know, a hundred dollars or more. And it's just like, what? Really? You know? Well, the sad part is, is half those guitar center straps, like I've seen them, and I mean, I don't mean to be rude, but like, they're so cheaply made, and then they're like up there for four or five times the price of what it was to make it, and I don't know. <laughs> well, if they're a company, they want to make money, they're going to get them wherever yeah. they can the cheapest, and mark yep. them up as much as they can. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. so you and you seem to be like into the quality. You're mm -hmm. you're charging a you're charging a good price, but it's actually worth it for the work you're putting in and the quality of the strap. Mm -hmm. So it's worth it to me to get one of these, uh, you know, three inch with a uh, picture of Zora on there. I had a customer saying. actually; yeah. their dog chewed up their guitar strap and um, <laughs> sent me a picture of it, like chewed the whole thing off and. I went ahead and just replaced their whole strap just because, you know, I mean, they paid good money for it. It doesn't happen all the time. So, I mean, I, I can tell too, it wasn't, it was an accident. So, I mean, I replaced the whole strap. Thank, thank you, Janice. Janice has sent me a tweet saying to, if I get a rechargeable strap to get the battery for it. See, Janice is listening. Oh. I have an intern that li that tweets me. Anytime I like talk in my sleep, I wake up to like the, the Twitter going off. Um, and this is true, Haley. I'll, t I'll tell you this. I remember we, we're not going to mention any names, but I remember mm -hmm. when we when we were at that flea market, we were talking mm -hmm. and, and you were talking about how about, you know, other companies and stuff. I bought a guitar strap that that looks very similar to one of yours. I got yeah. it at Guitar Center mm -hmm. and it's 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 back there. I never use yeah. it because I never use it because it digs into my back. It really? actually has. A, once we're off the call here, I'll show you the piece. Okay. It actually, it, okay. it digs into my back, and I never use it because it's uncomfortable. Oh. Yeah. So. And how has been? How's mine been for you? I mean, like I said, everyone says they're comfortable, I, but I don't want to be like my guitar straps are the most comfortable. 
I feel like that's based on user because I don't, you know, I don't want to, like, there you go. That, yeah. That's I, nothing, I, Johnny. It doesn't light up. You need one that lights up. Yeah, I do need the one that lights up. But can you see how it changes color when, when I when I move? You can see it. It changes. Back up. It goes from purple to, to blue. Keep Keep backing up. Well, the lighting, the lighting keeps changing, but anyway, no, I, I use her strap. I use this every Sunday. This is the strap that I use. See, it says it right there. They're awesome. There you go. Sky prop had an idea. Hook uh -huh. your hook, hook the lighted strap up to the uh, guitar more. Then when it changes color, so is the strap. Oh, right on. Barb wire straps. Blue Mox is saying. Uh, no barbed wire straps. I'm trying to think, though. Some... Those would no dig into your wire. shoulder. <laughs> Van Halen would do it. <laughs> Eddie would do it. I A seen Eddie wire. wear that chain strap. He'd wear he'd wear barbed wire strap. <laughs> oh, the the uh, yeah. That's actually that's an interesting that's an interesting thing. So you have like the normal like ends. Do, do you have we, any other kind of like locking? Have you have you thought about make, making like locking guitar straps? Um, it's like locking guitar straps. That's usually like involves like I know like Diadario has that locking guitar strap end that goes on, but that's like a whole patented mold injected mechanism. I, I my business isn't worth that much. Like I don't make that much. To, per, to make like a manufactured piece like that because I know they're buying it by the thousands. So oh, I'm not there okay. yet. Mm -hmm. But eventually, eventually. Eventually, maybe, yeah. Maybe you'll 3D print like your own design, maybe. I do have like, oh, these, I have strap blocks that I make, like like the little fender guys. Right. So you can get these in any, these aren't the best of ones to show here. These are just samples. But, I have um, these. Actually, I have I thought so. I have the ones that I bought when I saw you at the, was it the flea market? The oh. swap meet? Oh yeah, like, there I, they are. I bought these. Yeah. yeah. And I have some that are ghosts. Oh, there we go. It's the same as that box. Look at that. Yeah. That's you so need cool. to save that box. Yeah, actually, the box will be sitting back there to, uh, tomorrow night. To reflect, and that's cool. Yeah, here's some ghost ones. Look at that! <laughs> oh, and Halloween is coming up. Do you make like like more Halloween stra straps during uh, Halloween or during during like the holidays? Do you have like Santa straps? Uh, um, no. I mean, my company's not like big enough to do something that limited at this moment. Although I do right now have, um, we have Halloween cables and I forgot we totally make guitar cables and I have some Halloween colors and I think Josh, are our cables gone? Are all of them gone? Oh, Hammy, uh, do we have any? Um... He's going to go on the hunt for a cable, but I know we have Halloween colored cables right now. Oh, there we go. There we go. We make these in house. Josh and I do. Mostly Josh. Look at that. Right on, Josh. <laughs> well, he can't hear me, right? Because you're wearing the headphones. No, Josh can't hear you, but Johnny tell said him, right I said on, right. Josh. I said right on. Tell him EVH yeah. guy said right on. <laughs> he says, tell him EVH guy said right on. <laughs> <laughs> I, when I walk up to them at that flea market, they're like, you're EVH guy. <laughs> the enlightened EVH guy. You're on, you're on, you're lighting up. I will say though, totally. I know everyone's asking about those, um, locking strap things. I will say though, there is a new company called rock lock. I have nothing affiliated with them, but. Uh, they make some really cool strap blocks right now. Basically, their strap, uh, their strap lock system can go on any guitar strap peg. 
uh, we got these at NAMM, and then we were using them like crazy because, you know, there's so many guitars and to test so many things, these just popped on and off so easy. Um, if I have a NAMM booth, I may try to hit them up and see if they can get me some for my guitar straps because I do really like how easy it is for testing and the ability to take them on and off. Robbie, Wait you need minute. that one. Wait, what's going on with that strap? Hang on. That, that, that one's for Whoa. Robbie. Is Josh that, it, cust this is Josh's <laughs> custom one-off, one-of-a-kind strap here. Which is it backwards? Which is the front and the back on that one? Okay, this this is the front. <laughs> Since those are it wouldn't be those what? are literal strap locks where they actually dig right into your shoulder. <laughs> oh, actually no. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Wait, is that the is that the bottom or the top? It was the one like no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, okay. I, I was like, oh. I <laughs> Look at that. You'd have to be but, really careful bumping into the bass player with that one, man. KK Downing well, could use it. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see though. It only the the spikes only go from here to here, and this part adjusts because obviously. You will not be able to adjust if you have these spikes. That's what Rob Halford said. <laughs> wow. I've never seen a guitar strap like that. That's crazy. Yep. Josh wanted giant spikes. So. I mean, that, that's like perfect for Judas Priest or Iron Maiden. <laughs> or Robbie. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. Any Rolling Stone straps? Just like, um, like Keith H. I don't no, which do one is anything. That? I don't which do anything Keith? with bands yeah. on them because it's just the whole copyright infringement ordeal. Oh but, right. Yeah. Right. But but you you do custom Right. So let's say if, if so, like, let's say a, a band wanted to order like their own or like, you know, Robbie was saying he wants more with Zora, you know, mm -hmm. his own design or hangry. Yeah. For his band hangry. Yeah. You could do that. No, unfortunately, I can't. No, oh. no. I, really? If no. it's your own, if, if it's their own band, you can't do it. A band name. Yeah. But if it's like a, a, a cartoon or something, I can't. But oh, yeah. Leo band name's fine. Yes. Yeah, so on band name's fine and good. All right. All right, I'm going to start wrapping up because I know I'm supposed to yeah. be at that gig. There won't be any know. cake. There won't be any cake left. <laughs> they get Spike Strap, there will be. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, should we do? Do you want to be here for a couple giveaways, real quick? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What? Man, so many different. Look at, look at that. Wow. And again, you guys, these are these are guitar pick holders. So, I don't want to interrupt you, whoops. but someone just said. You didn't like that one, one John? You're right. Huh? You, you didn't Someone like that said, one? Oh, wait, no, no. I meant for, for, for Haley. No. <laughs> Sorry. Scott said make one with Velcro on it. And I think he wasn't here when we were talking about the whole Velcro. And also, I can't say Velcro. I have to call it hook and loop. Velcro is copyrighted. So oh. if you sell what? things on SD with Velcro, do not hook put Velcro. Yeah, you have to call it hook and loop. Hook and loop? Call... Yep. That's but yeah, oh. so. What about Scott, crunch? Crunch. But yeah. All right. You can go back fabric stick them. You can go back to what you were doing. Sorry. Okay. You, you got, we got 65 in here. You guys are awesome. Smash that thumbs up. Follow Haley Smith. Follow Rocket Music Gear on Instagram, TikTok. Twitter, YouTube, Etsy, 
all that stuff. Here's the Etsy store right here. Let's let's do a couple quick um, couple quick giveaways while uh, while she's here. Thank you again for sending in all the um, all the, the guitar pick holders. No problem. Glad it worked out. Yeah, that's cool. That's amazing. You do quality work. That's that's great. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's share the screen. Okay, we'll do a couple while while uh, while Haley is here. We got fifty-seven entries. Everybody, make sure you say something in the chat to be eligible. If you if you want a guitar pick holder, say something in the chat right now. Let's see. I'll I'll let you pick, Haley. Which ones? Let's do a couple right now. Wh which one should I should I give away? Ron, Honestly, you can't win. You're on the show. I don't remember I what I put in the box. That's an amazing box. Somebody's gonna want the box too. Look at that. Okay. You did okay. like. Do an octopus. Actually, no, just do a skull. Everyone was talking about those skulls. That's what I kept seeing in there. There's purple. Yep. You got purple. You got uh, green. Okay, let's do a purple and a green. And to show you guys, again, the Joker. Work. The Joker, right. They fit right in the top there. So this can fit. It can sit right on your desk. It's pretty cool, and I think Ron's gonna want one. Ron, I had already mailed you. I wish I would have waited. Oh, you did mail that? I did. I was gonna have Janice ask her to send you a tweet to remind you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> At Thank three you. in the morning. Yeah. Okay. All right. Purple skull. Purple skull. All right, you guys ready in the chat? You guys ready in the chat? Purple Skull pick holder goes to... Here we go. Tom Scarcella. 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 Yep. Italian. Tom. Scarcella. Well, well, I was going to say welcome. Congratulations, Tom. Send me a text message, 415-952-3263. Or even because you're on Facebook, message me on Facebook. You just won a purple skull guitar pick holder. There you go. There you go. Okay, and we'll do one more. We'll do a green as well. Thank you again to Rocket Music Gear. Slimer Green. All right, here we go. Next one. Here we go. The winner is Bry the Sign Guy. And he can't say Super Bowl. <laughs> Green Skull. B R I the Sign Guy. Right on. Send, send me a text. 415-952-3263. He looks a lot like Eddie. Three. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a, that's a uh, what do you call it? Avatar. Where'd Robbie well, go? Well, Robbie, Robbie left. So Oh, where, 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 I pissed where, him where? off. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Congratulations, you guys. These are cool. These are cool. These are cool. Here, I'll I'll just I'll do this until he gets back. Haley, thank you again so much. Yeah, thank you for having me. Like I said, yeah, Haley, nice work. to meet you. Yeah, nice meeting you guys too. I'll, I sent uh, you over a um, uh, I sent you over a message on Instagram, so hit me up, and then uh, I'll I'll get a couple straps from me or something. Okay, right. cool. Yeah, I'll okay. message you back. If not tonight, tomorrow, definitely. No, I'm good. So, I'm good. Okay. Whenever. I'll get one. I got a bunch of friends that play and. Uh, I'll send them your way too. Well, thank you. 
And Johnny, right. I'll, Again, I'll, thank message, you. I'll message you about your guitar strap and we'll get something figured out and send you more things to give away on your show. Thank you so much. Thank you so yeah. much. And, and you'll come back, come back again for another, we had said we'll do an interview at some point. I mean, that's kind of what yeah. this was, but, but yeah. anytime, anytime. Okay. And it, it's awesome that you guys are local too. Yeah. I mean, somewhat. You're somewhat local you, to me. Somewhat. I mean, you take well, trade-ins? No. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> trade. Yeah, there goes Ron, always looking for a trade. <laughs> <laughs> trade. As if you do, funny. I got a bunch. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Hey, you gotta oh, get, actually, you gotta try. Right, I'll try, I'll, I got one for you. I can get you one that says "Girls Smash Guitars" on it. There we go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that, Very good. Work. Very good. Well, Haley, put, thank I, you so put much. Put on the bottom the video. <laughs> <laughs> Just type in the video. <laughs> you guys, thank you again, Haley. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank Th you. Do thank I just hang up? Sorry, I don't know how to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, you just hit end. Cussy just mouth and just, just... Oh, I see stop. it. Okay, I see it. I see it. It's like... Like Robbie Robbie does it, but he... he... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Robbie's back. Okay, oh, okay. Haley, thank you again. Oh. Thank you yeah. again. We'll, we'll, we'll be in touch. And, mm -hmm. and uh, Rocket Music Gear, you guys, check them out. I've been telling you guys about them for months now. Links are in the chat. Links are down below. Haley, thank you again. Nice meeting you, Haley. Nice meeting you too, Robbie. <laughs> All right. All right. See everyone later. Bye. Peace out. Bye bye. See ya. Right on. That was fun. Yeah, she's cool, man. That's a cool website. It's a cool. Uh, it's a cool product. Mm hmm. Cool prod products. products, guitar straps, several different guitar straps, cables, guitar pick holders and, and little like characters and stuff, uh, guitar strap locks. She There's started talking more... about, she started talking about guitars and jumping on trampolines. I just, I didn't hear anything anybody said for about a minute. Oh boy. <laughs> I, was, I was just trying to. That's like the video. It's the video. I'm telling you. Yeah. I actually saw a guy on Instagram jumping on a, trop a trampoline today. Yeah, Ron. Ron likes it when guys jump on trampolines. No, he likes no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, pull the trampoline out from under him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, I'm so old. I remember in school when they used to have the parachute and pull you and bounce you up like that with the parachute. Now what? today, yeah. yeah, yeah, they the whole class would get around and just yank on you. Go flying like a trampoline and parachute, and the kid and the kids were holding you. Yeah, if one of them or some of them let go, man, you hit the floor. Was that yep. in the seventies? That's why. That's why we're tough. <laughs> we played with metal monkey bars, landed on concrete and gravel. Oh my! You know, gosh. I heard I was watching something the other day, and they were talking about uh, uh, seesaws. No, oh no! I was in a I was in a sales meeting yesterday, and they started talking about seesaws. Remember seesaws? They're mm -hmm. outlawed. They're outlawed. Why? Yeah. Why? In Arizona, they, or just, or just somebody they're, just jumps off. No, they're, just like on on any playgrounds, you don't see seesaws anymore. Mm -hmm. And as soon as a person said that, I said, I think they're right. I've never I haven't seen a seesaw in years. I mean, we went we went down hot metal slides, baking in the sun that were chrome <laughs> and landing in gravel which is crazy man yeah well, teeter-totter I mean, that's it teeter-totter yeah teeter same thing so you saw yeah well just seesaw, imagine like yeah. like you're riding on those and a kid's crawling around he gets hit on the head underneath yeah. one yeah the, yeah hey, Brian, the sign guy dangerous, you rub some dirt on it and go away <laughs> you're on <laughs> Brian, the sign guy that was the moody blues that sang ride my seesaw uh-huh I think oh that was gosh. a video too. Oh, yeah! I get sick just thinking about those those things you ride around. The merry-go-round. You hang on to that, and you're yeah. just like you get off, and you're like, oh, oh my god! You're like instantly like like hungover. Oh my gosh! 
or you got on the, the, the swing and try to swing real high so you can go around the pole or have someone mm-hmm. push you real hard. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, now gosh. now they fall on these real soft Nerf balls where they don't get hurt. It's like, oh, no wonder everybody's soft. <laughs> Are you kidding me? When I was a kid, when I was in sixth, seventh, eighth grade, we used to play dodgeball. You had this big, like, rubber ball. And you had to throw it as hard as you can. And if you hit the person, they were out. And you would get, like, big welts and stuff. You'd hit yeah. people in the head, wham. They were knocked that's out. That's what I mean. That's, that's why, you know, you went from that to, oh, we don't keep score. Nobody loses. Everybody wins. But if you caught it, the person who threw it was out. This is true. But you'd have people coming right up to the edge of the line. And if you didn't get back far enough, they would just bop you in the head. You'd be seeing stars. You might even pass out. Yeah. Get carried off. They'd carry you off. You know, hey, too bad, kid. You know, you lose. Get carried off. <laughs> yeah, walk it off, son. Walk it off. <laughs> Rub some dirt on it and let the dog lick it. Right with you. You're fine. Oh, I don't gosh. know, Sky. We had some of those things left over. I don't know if Johnny's going to do them, though. What's that? Oh, some Kramer. listening. Kramer, Kramer right. listings. Oh. From Kramer Town. Hey, uh, hey, real quick from last week. I was going to go over a couple of things. Um, <laughs> you. <laughs> what I want to say to you last time, man. Is... I got the. Uh, <laughs> I got the EVH. Uh, set up and it plays fantastic. I did switch the pickups out, uh, just like the one in the Wolfgang video. I saw this guitar in one of Wolfgang's videos. And I go, man, it looks really good with the zebra pickups. So I switched it out to oh. zebras because I had an extra set. I forgot what I the, the what the uh, celebration. Uh, the uh, the guitar you're talking about, actually. Yeah, that's that's one of those yet to be released twenty four fret uh, ones. Oh, look see, at it I just time. thought they yeah. I just thought they switched the pickups out, but uh maybe you're right. I I switched yeah. the pickups out in this one. So and then um and then I got the uh What pickups are those? Those Wolfgang. are Wolfgang. Oh yeah, I got an extra I, I got a, I got ridiculous amounts of sets. Um and then I got uh the correct bridge put on this. I put a Floyd Rose on it. Oh, that's the thing you got from uh, the Craigslist for nine hundred dollars. Yeah. For an, I paid nine hundred bucks for this guitar. Oh my! So God. this was a good find, made in Japan, but I put an original Floyd mm-hmm. Rose on it, and uh, it plays fantastic. So, dude, that would look amazing with the Rocket uh, Music Gear uh, guitar strap on it. You know, I'm gonna get one of those. I'm getting one of those straps. So. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that's it from Simi Valley. I unpacked the Floyd Rose and it looks good. And good trip to California. Hey, man, California is fun to go out and buy guitars. I mean, like, there's just nothing like it. I mean, there's always something to find out there. It's amazing. It's not like mm-hmm. that here in the valley. You know, Phoenix is kind of Phoenix is kind of quiet for guitar stuff. You know, every once in a while, you'll stumble on something cool. But mm-hmm. there's a uh... I was just informed last night. I had a girl I know called me and said uh, she's trying to find out information, but a friend of hers is an auctioneer. And within the next two weeks, there was a guy that died like 20 minutes from here, and he had 200 guitars, and they're all going up for an estate auction. So I asked her to find out. I texted her at night. I said, find out what brands they are. She said, well, he doesn't like to give out specific information to us stuff. Just tell him. Well, they're going to have to advertise that stuff if it's an estate sale. All that stuff will go onto a website. Let everybody know what's there. That's how they make their money. I mean, they're going to have a bunch of people coming to that, you know, or bidding online, right? I don't know if they'll Isn't do it online. Works? This area is not that that big. To, I don't know, they might do it online. Well, they'll get, they'll make more money because like yeah. that that trilogy that trilogy guitar show guy that Gibson the guy who buys all those Gibsons he buys estate sale stuff all the time and they ship it to him. Well, so. she he she said that he told her there's and he she said he wasn't much of a player he was more of a collector. 
So well, I, who knows what it's going to be? Hmm. hmm. Maybe he Robbie. The Robbie, uh, you guitars. okay tonight, pal? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. He's getting ready to sing a song. <laughs> Saving his voice. Oh, I don't know about that. Let me get my guitar. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I probably won't then. <laughs> <laughs> was that last week? Two weeks ago. Uh, two that weeks? was two weeks ago. Or was that last week? I don't know. I can't remember yesterday. I forgot. I think it was two weeks ago. Yeah, I'm going because to sleep at 9 you, yeah, that was two night. weeks ago. Because oh no, I was here. I was yeah, here. You were yeah, here. Okay. I remember. Yeah. Oh, last week you were you were at the. Uh, I was out in California. You were like in right. the dorm. Yeah. I was in my son's dorm. <laughs> <laughs> party time. Yeah, yeah it's a big well, party. Well, Martin, I mean, Martin, I know she can't make that custom strap because of uh, basically hardware production problems. But uh, give her a chance. Give her some time. I mean, she's she's lasted six years. I'm sure she'll get there eventually, and it'd probably be worth it. Yeah, Say, I don't contact her. Yes, years is that. still beginning. That's still like beginning stages. Of, yeah, but of, she uh, she's lasted six years. That's an incredible accomplishment, for especially her, through for COVID. Reason. Yeah, that's incredible. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Definitely an a definitely a uh, accomplishment in this uh, economy right now. So. Mm. I concur. Hey, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tap out tonight. I was talking to Johnny before I came in. My uh, I got grandkids tonight, so I'm gonna tap out and uh, and go and uh, do the do the grandkid thing. So I will uh, I will see you guys next week. See you later. All Thanks, right, guys. Man. All right, man. Be good, man. I'll see you guys next week. See you when I see you. Be good. Later. See you later, dude. See ya. Be good. Later. <laughs> Robbie, what are your thoughts on these new Kramer 84 guitars? You had to go there, didn't you, Ron? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't real. I'm not into the whole Gibson Kramer thing. I'm only into the Kramers that came out of the factory between 82 and 85. You know, I'm like very specific in what I do. So uh, it wouldn't be something I like. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that they play good and all that. It's just not something that I would do. Well, I like it. It's bad. What's a full Nelson? That's a wrestling move, isn't it? Yeah. What's a full Nelson? What is that? That's well. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> Rob You guys. You guys smash that thumbs up. Smash it. And some of you guys are were asking, uh, are those guys from yesterday gonna be back on? Um, I think it's getting late. I think they're actually done in like 10 minutes, but it's pitch black dark over there. So we wouldn't, we wouldn't see them anyway. Uh, they're hanging out at the, uh, hanging out at the, at the liquor store in Pasadena. Um, actually, uh, in January during, during the NAM show, I'll go over there and I'll, I'll stream live from, from there myself during the day. And you guys can see the Van Halen. Uh, How much you want to bet they start singing? Bumba Dita, Bumba Dita. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Actually, let me see if they are live. They might be live on like Facebook or something. Uh, thanks for understanding my uh, opinions, Deputy Van Halen. I really appreciate that. Mm hmm. Yeah, I play standing up all the time. And let, well, my acoustic songs, I don't. I sit on this this chair when I do the acoustics. And it hurts my hip, something fierce. So if you had, if you ever wonder why when I play an acoustic song, there's there's so much like expression going on. It's because my hip is singing too. <laughs> Johnny, it's like MJ, MJ. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's been a while since we've done that. So wait a minute. Ron, who... MJ. Who, who wound that pickup in that guitar? The one and only MJ. Hi, this is MJ from the Seymour Duncan Nam 2023 in Anaheim, California. You are watching Jan, Johnny B. Johnny B. Johnny B. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for all your support. Right there. Wow. I'm going to miss her when she quits, retires. It's not uh -huh. going to be long. Robbie just said he's going to miss you when you quit. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Quit playing you, you, or, or what? <laughs> you need, a, um, you need a, a guitar strap for that guitar from Rocket yeah. Music Gear. One of those neon green ones that like changes colors in the heat. Well, it, it's now it's forty degrees here and raining. So, oh, Colin, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> I got to give it to Johnny though. He got the signature for me that day when he was at Nam when he went to the camera and said, "I got it, Robbie." That was a great moment for me. Mm hmm. Johnny has done a lot for me as far as YouTube goes. He's given me insights in what to do and what not to do that has helped me get to where I am now. I anticipate to being at a million views in the next three weeks. So I've only been doing it for 11 months. I listened to Johnny. It's really what I did. So, yeah, I know he views me a lot or, you know, I start talking and he throws up commercials or whatever. I don't care. What? I'm, Johnny is my friend. I'm not man. the one doing that. Those are all. Those are all. Um, Nightbot. YouTube, YouTube does that. Nightbot. Yeah. If you guys, we'll if you guys have seen commercials Nightbot. during tonight's show, that's YouTube doing that. That's not me. Actually, in the chat, actually, that that's a good poll, actually, because I I actually haven't seen that myself. Um, well, I have. I'm watching the chat on my phone and. Three times now so far it's went into a commercial. It's amazing how it always goes on to commercial when I open up my mouth. It's like <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? Commercial. Yeah. Uh oh. I'll never play acoustic again. <laughs> okay. What what do you call it? Uh commercials is misspelled. Because you know, I can't I don't know math. But okay. So, in the chat, we got 60 people here, okay? How about that said, have you seen commie circles? What? <laughs> commie I just circles. glanced at commie circles. <laughs> have you seen commercials during this show? Yeah, so how, I've gotten them too. Wait a minute. So, On the phone, so you guys yeah. have, You guys just have YouTube open and it's doing it? Because like I said, yeah. it's YouTube. It's a brand new feature where YouTube just does it automatically. Let me... Do you have to be signed... If you're signed in? Let me, like if I'm watching my own stream? Let me look. Okay, this is us right here. Let me just have our, our video open. Let me let me just... Let me see what happens here. Okay, there's, a, there's an ad for... Uh, Alka-Seltzer. Sounds delicious. They still make that stuff? Oh yeah, it's awesome. Okay, I'll just leave the video open there and I'll, I'll just see if, if, it, uh, if it does that. So you guys are uh, 25 votes. You guys are saying yes. How often are you guys seeing the commercials? And what do they do? Do they take up the entire screen of the video? Yes, yes. Yes? Yep. And it's every time Robbie talks? <laughs> well, that you have that set up for that. <laughs> Yeah, he's got the go to commercial. As soon as I start saying something about a Kramer guitar, it's like it's like Robbie. It's like <laughs> Robbie. What do you think? What do you think about this subject? And that's what I think about this subject. Huh. Moving on. And and, and <laughs> Robbie, what else do you think? <laughs> 
apparently you'll have to watch the replay so YouTube gets more replays because you know I'm on fire with my with my numbers now. Mm-hmm. Now mind you, they are not Johnny numbers. Johnny's got five million views in three thousand videos or more by now. I only have probably twelve hundred. Bobby, videos. it's been it's been eighteen years. Well, it's only been eleven months for me, but I'm I'm just as pushing my first million, you know. And and mm-hmm. you're still you're still the OG with the big numbers, you know. And like I said, you've helped me so much with everything. It's, it's not I'm a competition. I mean, it's not. Well, a I'm not saying it is. I'm not saying it is. I enjoy I enjoy the views though. Wait, Robbie, what do you what Robbie, what do you actually think about all that? <laughs> Oh man, this is kind of hilarious, really. Robbie, what do you think of Ron's guitar playing right now? Well, hi, this is MJ from the Seymour Duncan Nam 2023 in Anaheim, California. You and I hope he has to go to the doctor to remove. <laughs> <laughs> is that poison? Hey, this is Ricky Rocket, and you're watching my buddy Johnny Bean right here on his channel. Thank you, Ricky Rocket. Hey, baby, Dr. I should get him on the show. You guys want to talk to Ricky Rocket? We could probably get him. He said we're good buddies. <laughs> How come we can't even hear that? It's not like direct. It's like, is that, is that actually direct? Clips. Robbie, Clips can right you hear out. that? Yeah. And I hope they don't use any anesthetics. That's like the worst guitar tone I've ever heard. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Oh, no, it's even worse. Oh, my God. What the hell? Please. You guys ever seen that video called Steve Vai Shreds? <laughs> Do you guys remember those? Remember, was it Haley's uncle or is that her dad? Good night, Martin. Martin's Martin's tapping out. Good night, Martin. Martin, love you, brother. I love you, brother, man. Good night, Martin. Yeah. Gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Good night, man. <laughs> Yeah, MPN. MPN. Do you guys remember those Shreds videos? Do you remember the Steve Vai Shreds where he's playing the double neck? Do you guys remember those? Those. Oh my god. Yeah, Brooks, I got the gongs in the other room. Wait, play that more. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna do it, man. <laughs> Robbie, what do you think about those those guitar tones he's making? Oh, it's absolutely hideous. It's, it's, a, it's absolutely uh, horrifying.
Robbie, what'd you think about that? And that he won't even come out of the coma afterwards. Oh, sorry. Oh. 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 <laughs> Good Lord. Oh. I will never get that gadget he's using. I swear, ever. Oh, hey, Zora. Whoa. Hi, Zora. Hi. Hi. Come here. Come here. I thought a Come raccoon here. just jumped on you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Zora. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Right. It's okay, Zora. It's okay. Zora can't even hear what he's playing. Oh no! She, do, she would definitely run. She will hang out in the room, and I will. I will play the gongs. I practiced uh, Achilles' last stand on the drums today, because that's going to be on Sunday sounds, along with I believe Tomorrow. I'll do a little. Yeah, a little bit of uh, when the levee breaks, and also a solo that I was kind of trying to do some of Days of Confused, but I don't really know where it's going to go. But that's going to be tomorrow's set. So I was playing that today, you know, to brush up on it for tomorrow. And she just, she did not stay in the bass drum, but she stayed in the room and, uh, you know, listened to it. She's the coolest cat in the world. <laughs> I think the cat on your shirt's the coolest cat in the world. Yeah, I mean, I saw, I saw Ned today and I said, all right, let's wear Ned tonight. What'd you say? And they never find you. And that's going to, you'd be like Jimmy Hoffa. Shut up. <laughs> uh, yo, uh, yo, yo, Ron, uh, you're, you're getting kind of old, aren't you? I mean, you know, I mean, really, Ron, I mean, uh, you know. The, you Call know, me old. Like, think about, like, giving it up. I wanted Robbie to bring out his class picture, but he couldn't because he can't remove cave paintings. <laughs> you know, that, that voice, that, that voice is really getting old, Ron. I mean, you know, that, that, that shit, the ship is like sailed, you know. I mean, yo, okay, uh, that, 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 that gizmo you got there is so dated. No wonder you got it cheap. Nobody wants that shit anymore, man. Robbie Stingle. Mr. Yubaru. 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 Mr. Yubaru.
domestic short hair, small, and her weight was 10 pounds. <laughs> if they knew she was a, a, a Norwegian forest cat, they would have wanted a lot more money because these cats go for a lot of money. Mm -hmm. But she's still a kitten. Norwegian cats, Norwegian forest cats stay kittens for at least four to sometimes seven years. So she's not a cuddler. She won't get on the bed. She likes her space. She's not afraid of water. I got to be right she, back. She likes gongs. Time for a commercial. <laughs> yeah. Johnny, what's your opinion on? <laughs> My opinion, actually. <laughs> oh, I love how he turned that into a thing. Oh, brother. You can't ramble on that guitar, can you, Ron? What do you mean, ramble? Oh, you mean chicken picking? Oh, chicken picking is like a squawkity squawk squawk. Rambling is like a... You, you know, you heard me do it. You heard me do it. You don't play that on a Jackson. Now, the well, telecaster up here, you might. I don't play anything on a Jackson. Uh, <laughs> I sold one. I sold one to CC. <laughs> a really nice one, too. Perfect condition. Yeah. You got another one? No. No. Oh, Zora's purring so much. It's good girls, huh? There's good girls. Looks like she's holding on to a railing. <laughs> <laughs> That's my arm. Good girl, Zora. Yes, good girls. Good girls. Yeah, I didn't. I I looked at the Dane's website because he he had a two of them I was interested in, and it, it comes right across the top of the website. Local pickup only. It never said that before. Oh, you talk to him. He'll ship it to you. I mean, come on. You're buying guitars from him. I don't think he's going to do you that way. <laughs> yeah, I looked at that. <laughs> Zor up to the mic, huh? I'll see. I'll see. What do you say, Zor? Huh? You got anything to say? Huh? Come on. You're a ham for the camera. Oh, what is that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you like the microphone, huh? No, no, yes. Huh? You gonna rap or something? You want to get down? Okay, okay, okay. There you go. There's some fur on me here. Thank you, Zora. Thank you. This good girls. Good girls. You're gonna jump on top of the speakers now? Maybe. <laughs> Come on, ramble. Ram man, you don't ramble, man. You can ramble again. You like. Is that a good price, Robbie? I don't know. I can't see it. You always do that. I can't see it. $385. Three hundred eighty-five dollars. It's the body. It's loaded, except no pickups. Mm, loaded with what? It's got the pots, the switches, oh. the uh, claw, and that stuff. Who makes the body? That's Kramer Pacer. Oh, it's a new Pacer, though. Yeah. Well, so that's a Gibson. Probably. What year is it? Uh. Well. Doesn't say. Says it's maple. Neck pockets two and a quarter, or two and a fourteen. Two fourteen. Five pounds four ounces. Tiger stripe Floyd Rose studs. Control plate with screws. Tremolo claw. Tremolo. Tremolo claw. Seymour Duncan pickup rings. Uh, black metal speed knobs. Strap pins. Two volume controls with push pull pots for coil splitting, one tone control with three way switch. Because you know they didn't 
they didn't paint them like that, so it had to be somebody else painted it. No, you know, you can buy them like this now. Now, this, this, yeah, this, 2014. This, he says 2014. This, Two and no, a quarter inch neck pocket. That that's old. That's uh. All right, sorry, I'm back. And you can fish that thing right out of the <laughs> pond. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry. I I had I had something I had to. Uh... Anyway, I'm here. That's a George Lynch. Oh, it's a Gibson no. body, but it's a, it's a two and a quarter inch neck pocket. That means it's oh, that's older. A that's a that's a Kramer. Uh... Yeah, the Pacer. Yeah, it says yeah. Pacer. Mm -hmm. He wants three eighty five free shipping. It's the body, everything except the pickups. Well, it it depends what you're into. You know, I wouldn't do it, but so it says it's according to Reverb. It says great value, below average price for this condition. <clears throat> well, they they don't know anything. <laughs> it's a two and a quarter inch neck pocket. You can put a Jackson neck on there, Ron. Mm -hmm. Let me just say. When I left the video for a few minutes, yeah, we lost twenty people. Oh, not this again! <laughs> He's right, though we did. So now I know. You guys, guess who's back? Oh, it said it's Kramer Pacer Vintage. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, but Pacer Vintage is a name for that bo those, those Gibson bodies. It's not like from, you know, the 80s. That's just a model they had. Wow, they they go anywhere from uh, $534 up to 750 Well, I would never pay that. For just the body, you mean? No, no, this one's 625 for the whole guitar. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's a satchel. Yeah. Oh, dude, I found the photo. Where, where'd it go? I told you. There's a photo. Of, well, let me just find it. Let me find it on, on YouTube. I told you guys, I'm in a video with satchel. Did you guys know that? You said you told us about it, but we've never seen it. <laughs> I'm sure that's going to change now. <laughs> satchel... I wonder if I can even find it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm in this video. Check this out. I mean, I'm not going to show the whole. I'm not going to show it, but I'm going to. I'm going to show it. I'm not going to show it, but I'm going to show it. Okay. Check this out. This is. You'll see me in this video. Totally forgot to check out. Oh. Oh, there. Oh, I'm in the very beginning of the video. I'm there. I I was there. Oh wait. Twice. Haley just, Haley just messaged me though. Hang on. Your electric strap is on the way. I made an offer on this one today. I, I'm trying to get it. Oh, that's like the one you buffed out. No, this this one's called the Eerie Swirl. It they, it doesn't look right with this camera, but it's the uh like on the edge, the outline edge is like a purple then it goes into a blue then into that aqua blue it doesn't it just doesn't show up very well i turn it a little bit see where it, so. well when those those floyd roses on those guitars come out of korea i believe if it is a floyd rose like on that yeah. body you were looking at it's oh on the Pacer. Well, that doesn't come with the bridge. No. Nah. No. Okay. So that would be inserts too. That would not be wood screws. Yeah, it said it had the original Floyd uh, inserts in it. Inserts. Yeah. Not you know, there, 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 I I found a Kramer when I wanted to show you, and now I. For some reason, it didn't save. 
Okay, here are you guys. I I will give you guys. What's the rest of that code? V eight. Okay. All right. Open this up in a different browser, or open this later. This is a Guitar World video with with Satchel, and immediately you see me walk right past him. <laughs> Stalking him? No. <laughs> No, I, I didn't even know he was even on. I didn't even know they were even doing anything. Here, I'll go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll present it. I'll show it to you guys. It's actually, it's me and my friend Michael. We're walking by. And then I think there's somebody else in the video you guys might recognize, too. This is what I've heard. All right, check this out. All right. Do you guys see this? No. Why is that not showing? There it is. Okay. Steel Panther Nam Takeover 2015. Okay, check this out. Hey, what's up? Uh, this is Satchel. Look. Yeah, there's me right there. See? You video <laughs> bombing. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Like right in the very beginning, there I am. <laughs> Oh, good Lord. Look at that look on his face. He's like, hey, look at me. I'm here. I had, no, we, I, we had no, I had no idea he was filming. Somebody you're, you're, told me, somebody told me later that they saw this. That, that look on his face, Robbie, he's thinking, wonder if I can get him to do a channel ID for me. <laughs> he's thinking, I wonder if he still lives in San Francisco. <laughs> Is that Satchel? But see, that's obviously me. Um, and that's my friend Michael right there. And then where's, where's the, the playback speed? What's like really slow? Is it 0.25 or yes. 175? Which yes. is slow? 20, 25. 25? Yeah. Okay. All right, check this out. All right, yeah, there's me and Mike. Oh, I think Mike, I think you know. That's Michael Gutierrez. You guys all know him. He used to hang out with Edward all the time, Eddie Van Halen. Now, I think there's another guy that walks by. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen that. Anyway, there you go. Did you walk over on walk past him on part two also? <laughs> no, that's the only time I ever saw him. And, and again, I had no clue that he they were even doing a, a video. We just happened to walk by, and then somebody told me later they're like, "I saw you in that video." I'm like, "No way." <clears throat> See, you that's do, pretty you cool. Do, you do uh, stalk people. There's video no. proof right there. <laughs> no, no, I don't. <laughs> I, I had no clue that was happening. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um. Oh, Johnny, someone just sent uh, Blue sent you pictures of his uh, 90 Fender Squire. Uh oh. Zora's trying to tip that thing over. <laughs> Zora, stop it. Thanks, Johnny. So let, let's see the photos, Johnny. Blue sent you of his Fender Squire. All right. Are you area code 206? Yes. Twenty nineteen. Crap. Oh, I remember those guitars. These are cool, man. Sorry, right, it's okay. Like that's an older guitar. These are from the eighties, right? I remember a friend of mine having one of these. Yeah. This is one of those squires, like heavy metal style. Yep. Squire. They weren't bad either. They didn't play too bad and didn't sound too bad. Looks like an Ibanez. Sort of. Well, it kind of looks like a cross between an Ibanez and a... Yeah. 
What does sell for new? You worked at the store. I didn't work at a new store. I worked at a used store. Damn it. That's a thin body. Zora, not the parts. <laughs> he bought it new in 90, he said. Yeah, 90. Would you pay for it, Blue? If you don't mind us asking. Jumbo stainless. Oh, Bri the sign guy, you did text me. Yeah, let me know where to send your prize. Look at this. It's the Grateful Ned. Look what I All got. right. Grateful Ned. Look, it's Ned Zeppelin. <laughs> this guy. This is the guy right here. Nedward right? Van Halen. Right? Does Zora smell good? Does Zora smell like cologne? Because he smells like cologne, which is really strange. No, not really. She just kind of smells kind of like fur. I don't know. <laughs> it's nice. What does fur smell like? I don't Zora? know. Not really gamey like a squirrel. More mellow. Oh, oh imagine sniffing a squirrel. That would be nasty. Well, they're pretty gamey. Imagine sniffing a skunk. <laughs> oh, God. There's nothing but crap out here. See you, Mike. Take it easy, Mike, man. 350 for that? Mike, man. He CC. paid 350 for that, Johnny, in 90. CC, there's nothing, not I, there's nothing in here. I'm looking. You're just going to have to wait for a sports body to come up. It's just like, I'll keep looking. It's like trying to find that Floyd bar. I just got to keep looking and looking. Because, I mean, there's just a bunch of garbage on here. What? Oh, see, see he's, looking for a, he's looking for a sports body. Mm -hmm. Janice uh, is saying she could say something. You could say it, Janice. That's fine. Or you can tweet me. Tweet me what you want to say. Uh, my knees hurt, said. I'm down to sniff most anything. What's happening, oh. knees? Man, this guy sent me a like a pick tray, even though I don't use a pick, but it's beautiful, and a watercolored painting. It's it, he's awesome. He, I mean, the tray thing's really cool. It's Did got it like seem like it was sniffed. It. No, but the the watercolor is incredible. The the guy is just a he's just an artist. So shout out to knees, man. Not only that, but he watches. Uh, he watches my videos all the time and gives me great comments, which I appreciate, too. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, you guys, please watch this video some more. Uh, drop comments below on playback. Was there a commercial? Did you guys just see a commercial? No. I'm trying to see commercials on this. Oh, I haven't I, seen I... any commercials. Maybe because I'm me. Maybe they won't play for me. Because you're the one running the show. This, the, yeah. Yeah, maybe they won't play. Maybe I have to have a totally different window open. How often are these commercials? You Pretty guys? often. I, right when I was talking before, another another one came on. Mm -hmm. When you left, there was another commercial when I when I said something. like that Probably. okay that one i did okay that 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 one i did that's an actual official commercial no so i was gonna say you guys tomorrow uh i'll be live from guitar center uh you know you guys know no, more normally mondays mondays i i go live at guitar center i walk around i'll be live from guitar center tomorrow sunday 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 because uh, a friend of mine that works for Boss Roland is going to be there. And he's go we're going to be looking at some new products from Boss Roland exclusively on, on, uh, on my channel. So look for that tomorrow morning. And, you know, they'll probably take the place of a Laz show because Laz probably won't be live. Right, Janice? Janice, is Laz going to be live? Yeah, Janice, you know who he is. Just Alliance. That's right. 
yeah, we'll be hanging out at Guitar Center tomorrow live. Probably, well, they open, I think, 11, 2 p.m. Eastern. So somewhere 11, noonish, my time, California time. Uh, we'll we'll be uh we'll be live. Okay, she says there's no Laz show, so I will be live tomorrow from Guitar Center with Boss Roland. And that's not a guy named Boss Roland. Not the that's boss. That's better than Boss Hog. <laughs> yeah, boss Roland. No, as in Roland, as in Boss. Well, I mean, Roland came before Boss. I had Roland stuff before Boss was even around. Mm -hmm. I had one of the first Roland drum machines that mm -hmm. you programmed and stuff. It wasn't all that great. But... Hmm. Hey, my knees hurt. Says five special people got owls, and I was one of them. Thank you so much, knees. I think uh, she says Janice got an owl, and I know that Richard DeFalco got one. Mm -hmm. And that would be me, and there'd be two other people. Well, we're giving away skulls tonight. Look at that. We gave away a couple, and we've got more to give away on future episodes. I have a whole box full of these. These wow. are guitar pick holders from Rocket Music Gear. I like her. Oh, she's great. Yeah. Look at this. You got, like, like dinosaurs. You got octopus. You got C-3PO? Oh, no, octopus. Octopus, yeah. You ought to just send him that one. Got the skull, skulls. I have a feeling Ron's going to want a skull. Yeah. So. Yes, sir. You are picks. correct, sir. There you go, right there. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Robbie doesn't use picks, right? That's true. I Somebody just not. said they don't. But we got an orange skull. Wait, what's this? There's this guy here. <laughs> what the hell is that? Wow. That looks like a pick slash pencil holder. Oh, and there's the there, these are the, actually these are these are um these are cats. I remember I gave one of these away when I first yeah I gave one. one of these away a while ago. But it I was like that. small. You could probably put paperwork in there too, like a good place to put your bills or something for the month. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Wow, there's a white Farrington acoustic for a thousand dollars used. Hundred dollars shipping. Mm. That's kind of high. Month. That's kind of high, though. Those have been going for less. I just never dug those guitars. That was one of those things where they came into the factory where I was like, what? <laughs> What's even, uh, there, there's another one that's, uh, no, they're rare because nobody wants them. It is the same thing, but the BC Rich Warlock version. Huh. Oh, hey. There, there, there's, a, there's a Warlock hollow body acoustic. <laughs> that's what that is? <laughs> Axolot. Axolotl. Axolotl? Uh -huh. There we go. Oh, she's saying what it is. She's in the chat yeah. right now. Yeah. The green one. There it is. Now, uh, Stigatsu has a, uh, has a, one of those Farrington bodies for sale for a couple hundred bucks. And it's really not much to, to bolt on a, any Kramer yeah. electric guitar neck to. So, I mean, you know. Yeah, that uh Axolot. Axolot. <laughs> Axolot. Axolot. Axolotl. Right on. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Another uh, commercial. Sounds really? Bitch. Yeah, I, I wasn't even talking. 
Damn. Is it for Arby's? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't watch them. I just skip them. guys, em. Arby's is delicious. They closed the Arby's in San Jose. I'm very sad. Arby's yeah, went away in San Jose. The big da, Montana. Da, 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 da. The big Montana I cannot get anymore. See, Johnny? Look. Uh, I can never see it when you do that. Is everybody seeing that same commercial at the same time? Oh, there we are. I skipped it. They Everybody's it five, saying I that. I can skip it in five seconds, so that's what I do. So you're all getting commercials at the exact same time, most of you. It's a conspiracy, I tell you. Mm -hmm. No, conspiracy music's a different channel. Although they're probably live right now, too, on like 12 other channels. They might be. <laughs> I know he does Saturday night, Clay. Let now, what on on my laptop here that I'm using, I got it uh, with the monitor plugged into it. I go through Firefox, and there's an ad on that they installed automatically that I can watch anything on YouTube on on the laptop, and it doesn't show any commercials at all. Oh, I don't get any commercials on the laptop. They come through the phone. Oh, I really? never get them on the laptop. Yeah. No, what I'm watching here, no, I don't. Get Wait, any where'd you get your commercials? All on you my guys? phone. On my phone, I got to have the phone to get in the chat. You so. didn't get it on a laptop? No. Uh, well, no. The fire, fire, Firefox Ron? has a blocker in it. Firefox added a, a blocker to their browser, which blocks the ads on YouTube. Oh, that reminds me. Some some other what was it? There's some brand new system for Windows coming out. Some AI system, like some total. Did you hear about that? I someone started talking about it. Dude, that sounds incredible. Uh, that sounds incredible. This this. Did, did whole... you ever see? Did you ever see the movie The Terminator? <laughs> no, I never saw that. You've never saw The Terminator, really, ever. Never. What do you mean that I was on Terminator? It's my best movie. That was before I was married to Maria Shriver. I wanted to be the governor, so I married her, even though she looked like Skeletor. <laughs> oh my gosh. The governor. The governor. The big but, yeah, my governor. But that is, that was a warning from James Cameron about what could happen if, if we believed in computers and stuff too much. Mm hmm. You know, and it's like now AI wants to take over everything. So you need to mm -hmm. watch. You need to watch. There's actually there's what four movies now or five total. What Terminator series? You mean? Yeah, their their last one was Genesis, and it, it had a it, funny part was it's Arnold now at his you know his however old he is seventy or sixty five seventy, and he's like because of the skin. On the Terminator, it'll age like a normal person. But they go back in time, and they have an AI-generated version of him from the very first one from 84. Mm -hmm. So it's it's kind of interesting. But... Uh, yo, Arnold, you get a little old for this, aren't you now? <laughs> you should have to take those pills if you want to do your cows out in the farm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And you thought jumping on a trampoline with a guitar was bad. <laughs> well, I'm not seeing any ads, but they, yeah, I probably won't see them on my account at all. Anyway. I can't. I thought I saved that Kramer and I can't find it. Was it like a real Kramer or? Yeah, it said 80, 85. Really, in '85, nice. Well, it's what it said it was. They wanted uh, thirty-two hundred dollars for it. I know, oh. but you know, a lot of these aren't aren't selling at those prices now. The stuff's getting tough. The people aren't like buying them for that much. Yeah, now it's becoming a buyer's market instead of a seller's. Mm -hmm. Kinda. It's not as bad as like Fender or like that, but it's. I'm I'm finding them. When I looked this week, I found. Uh, Almost all the ones we've talked about in the last two weeks are still for sale. Only the ones that were really good are gone like really quick. Mm -hmm. But you know, you got an eighty-five and they want like four thousand dollars for it, 
and they don't have the right case or this is messed up or that. <clears throat> and it's just not going to happen. I mean, you got to have like the, the, the hard shell case that came with it. Everything's got to be legit. Nobody molested it or changed nothing. Then you're talking about it, you know, as an investment, maybe in a couple of years, you might, you, it'll probably go up in value. Some stuff is so rare, it's never going to go down. Like those, uh, you know, those grail necks, the ESP grail necks from uh, 82, actually, yeah, 82 to 85, 85, those custom shop ESP necks that came out of 48th Street, New York. And John, yeah, th those are, those are rare. Johnny, I'm sending you this listing right now for this Kramer 86. This one, it's not the one I had before. I just found this one. What's that? Okay. What's up? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll look at some stuff here. And then uh, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. We got 47 thumbs ups. Okay. Let me just do some retweeting real quick. I need to tweet this show out. Yeah, Blue, man. COVID, I, I found stuff that came out of the woodwork that's unbelievable, and I've never seen again that people were willing to either sell it or didn't know what they had. And I knew because, you know, like Johnny says all the time, I was there. So I had the knowledge to be able to know what it was, you know, and, and you know, pay probably higher at the time prices than somebody else would. Of course, now all that stuff's even more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to take I mean, the clear cut off the fretboard. Uh, knees, why don't you just steal wool it? It'll feel like it's it'll feel like it's uh, right. taken off, but it'll it, it'll still have protection, so the wood won't. Uh, you know, the the wood won't be all that bad. Yeah, don't use chemicals. Okay. I just use steel wool or emery cloth, maybe. You can emery do it. You're cloth. artistic. Yeah, some really fine emery cloth, too. That'll dull it out for you and make it look like it's real wood. And you still got enough clear coat on to uh, protect the wood. That's what I do. Hmm. Well, well if I, you want to I'll say you one more, Johnny. You want to stain yeah. it black. I don't know what to tell you there. That's that's just that's bizarre, but you know, hey, you do you. Mm-hmm. Okay, WhatsApp is taking a while to open here. Here's one that says Kramer Focus Guitar Neck, Eddie Van Halen style, made in Japan, nineteen eighties. They went three hundred and forty nine dollars for it. Yeah, I saw that one too. I might even sent that to Johnny myself. I just sent him two listings. Uh, I think we saw that black one. Probably. Probably. Do, do you remember looking at a Kramer Beretta maple board 86 that was black? Yeah, we did that like last week or something. Yeah, we saw that one. Yeah. This one we didn't see. Wait. Beret That's a Beretta one. Okay, right. Yeah, I remember that ad. <laughs> you don't have to say Beretta 1. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> huh? Well, that's what it is. No, this one. Yeah. Nobody could, nobody calls it that, you know. No, there is, there is a Beretta 1. I don't think we saw this one, though. I don't think we saw this one. Oh, you know, uh, why is he saying there? it's 88 or not 88 to 90? Yikes. Oh, I, I don't know. The case looks familiar because it's not the right case. It's got it's the, the relief cut on the bottom horn. Well, that's the that's the binding neck, which is technically more more rare. Oh, yeah, I could see that, too. Right. Yeah, they started doing that and like pretty darn close to when they were done with the jumping away from the company. Three piece American neck. 
Huge flute. Look at the size of that flute. Holy God. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted 2400 for it originally. Well, that neck could probably go for, with the binding, it's probably a $600 neck. You'd have to dress it before you sold it, though, because it looks a little whooped on. I don't think I've ever seen that body shape front of Kramer with that relief cut. Oh, I have. In the later days, they start doing that. Yeah, Johnny's right. I guess you could call this a Beretta one. It, that's what they did with these, with with, with the way they they did these back then. So, yeah, you're right on that. But you know, it's got real shallow tuners on it. It does. Yeah. And you know, look, they're not goofy long, the shafts. Tool pack is correct. Mm -hmm. So it, that might be a little earlier. <laughs> oh, is that crack? <clears throat> Probably. Is that crack? It might be. I'd look say maybe it is. Yeah, that's your three-piece American neck with that huge, giant, horrible-looking flute. Which is just like, you don't need that. I mean, that's ridiculous. And Kramer was always afraid of, well, everything. After the neck <laughs> thing. <laughs> After the neck thing, when they, they used the cheaper glue, they just never went back. Yeah, all the Kramer American pointies are three-piece blue. That's what they did. They could make the neck cheaper out of smaller pieces of wood and glue it together. And then they told everybody, because the grain is the opposite way, it's stronger. Well, if it's so much stronger, why the flute? It looks like it's, you know, the the, the devil's tower on there. You know? <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah, that's what they, that, they were good at, like, you know, making a story about stuff. Yeah. But that's what they did. With the, that's why we get a transition neck. It's so much better because they just glued the headstock on the end of one piece, you know. Or these these focus necks. Your focus pointy in the same year was one piece. It wasn't. It wasn't a three piece neck. It was one piece, and it was non tilt. Oh, that's that's splendid there. That'll buff right out. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll buff right out. <laughs> What the? What's going on with this photo? Is that? I don't know. What's the? Can you see what the serial number says? Why does this look like it's going the opposite direction? Look how, how big is that? Hey, you see what I'm saying? At yeah. the at, at the end, they they were they were weird. I gotta tell you. Oh, he's got it blocked out. The serial number, months. like it matters. No, it's not he blocked can, out. This, yeah, this it's, is just it's that's F, covering that. F eighty seven something. Yeah, F. F that's six, one of the F six seven seven five. That's one of the. That's way late, man. That's way late. Interesting. Has that big. Uh, well, what happened to this guitar? And why the nail polish? <laughs> That'll buff right out. That's passion purple nail polish, I bet. Oh, Look at yeah. that action, too. Yeah, it's it's up there. <laughs> Look at... Is this set up for slide? <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised they spelled Kramer right on that uh, on that fretboard marker. I thought it said Kramer. Oh. <laughs> uh. Damn, a little Ooh, damage right there, what's too. What's going on there, man? Well, you know, they've top routed it, and then they got, you know, this. they're using a shallower pickup rigs. It must have been, like, scraping the bottom of the barrel for parts just to get them out the door, which, you know, they used to do. It was funny because they would run out of parts during the day, and they'd ship them without it. You'd get it without string retainer. You'd get it without a tool pack. If it could go out the door, it went. 
they wanted him out. Hmm. Is that a, is that an actual factory color, Robbie? Uh, I, I think it is. I think it is. Is a one-piece neck on any electric guitar better than multi-piece? In my opinion, yes. I have to say yes. No, uh, yeah, I, I would say yes. That's in my opinion. You got a lot of companies that have multi-piece necks that charge more for them. That that uh, the Kiesel will make a five-piece neck and say, you know, we want more money because it's, it's it's these different woods. And that's fine. You've got a Kiesel and you like it. That's great, you know. But personally, my opinion, no, it's a one the one piece handcrafted Japanese craftsman neck, you know, that really ended in 86 when they went pointy. There are some transition necks that had glue up headstocks that were were handcrafted most of the neck, and then the headstock was glued on at the angle, and that's to save wood too, because when they when they were making those grail necks, they needed a eight to 10 inch wide piece of wood to start with. So they got that big banana and everything in one piece. And that cost mm -hmm. money. Kramer did not want to pay for that. And that's why there was only 250 grail guitars because they had to pay more that for that. And they had to pay more for to sports to cut these things out, you know, with pin routers out of maple. That was expensive. They didn't want to, you know, they didn't want to put out the money. And that's why they eventually pretty quickly really went to ESP because they could get a contact contract with ESP cheaper with a qual with a pretty quality body like at 84 and it, the end and 84 and 85 and they also went with Lacido for the tilted bananas that had the headstock pieces of the banana glued on so it was one piece all the way down and then it had like the end of the banana and the, the little piece on top glued on you know, but they mm -hmm. were they were glued on fingerboards. So, you know, it was they were still a great neck. I have one which I did not break and I took home. I, I've got I've got a few Lacinos, you know, they are they are very good necks. They're much better than a sports neck, which which had the Lutheran joint, which did separate. And people that had those necks that separated, they wanted a, a banana guitar like Edward, and they got the you know, they got the repair. When they got the replacement deck on the guitar, it was a pointy, and they did not like that. <laughs> no, no, Brooke. no. People hated that. Brooks, check out Fu Tone. Yeah, Brooks. Yes. Fu Tone makes a uh, let's call it a large banana. It's one piece. The fretboard is the maple of the neck itself. I've got one on a guitar that I built, and it, it's 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 wonderful. And who is that by Robbie? That's by Adam at FU Tone. Hey now, Adam Reaver, fu tonecom my less crappier promo reel for Johnny Bean TV. You're watching Johnny Bean TV. Check it out. I'm telling you, I used it. It comes dressed. You could dress it better, but it comes dressed. And it was almost, it was almost totally straight. It had a little tiny little whip. Where, Wait, what are I you talking dressed, about, Robbie? <laughs> when, when I when I dressed it, I had to I had to sand a little more on that one side to get to compensate for the little imperfection in the wood. It was nothing, <laughs> and and it's only like uh, it's only like uh, like it, they were two hundred sixty dollars. Those necks are made in Pennsylvania. He has thirteen people making those necks in a shop in Pennsylvania under the Boogie Body's name. Yeah, they are made in America too. So, like me. Absolutely. You were made in Phoenix. I was. It was 140 degrees. I was <laughs> made outside of Detroit. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, they got mad at uh, me at school because at one time they said, Where are you from? I said, My mother. They didn't like that answer. I saw a TikTok, man. I saw a TikTok where this guy gets pulled over by a cop and he's like, he's like, where do you live? I live at home. <laughs> the guy's answering all his questions, but the guy's oh. obviously kind of weird. Where do you live? I live at home. Who do you live with? I live with my parents. I, I forget what it was, what it was, but it was hilarious. The I, stuff I like the guy was... go, do you know why I pulled you over? Well, if you don't know, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> yeah. 
What was it? Can I find that that audio? It was it was hilarious. Uh, I love Robbie, I love TikTok, man. Robbie, that guitar we looked at, they wanted it was down to sixteen hundred. What would you say it was worth? To me, maybe a thousand. The case ain't right. And you'd have to like it too. Well, not even that. I mean, the the, the nail polish thing. You got to refinish it. It's it's top routed. The Floyd obviously is not of quality Floyd in, in, in those years. Uh, it's got a Duncan in it. Duncan pickup. That's good. You wow, got your three pieces. Wow, yeah, by showers. Marcelo Juarez. Listen to this real quick. This is funny. Listen to this. Okay, some guy gets pulled over apparently. Listen to his answers. I'm just gonna play the audio. Listen, listen to, uh, listen to this. You know why I put you over? Uh, because I was at the stop sign for too long. Yeah. What's up with that? Why was you just sitting there? Uh, I was just waiting for it to turn green. Oh, yeah, it's better than running through it. Where you headed? Uh, I'm at home. Okay. Where you live? Uh, with my parents. Okay. And where do your parents live? Uh, they live with me. <laughs> Okay, where do you all live? Uh, we all live together. Okay, so where's your house? Uh, it's next to my neighbor's house. Hey, where's your neighbor's house? Ooh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. <laughs> next to my house. Step up. Huh? Wow. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny. <laughs> See, now, if you like that, Johnny, you would like the Jerky Boys. Oh, uh, I've heard them, yeah. I've, Frank, I've Rizzo. Yes. Frank Rizzo. Frank mm-hmm. Rizzo. <laughs> I think it's interesting. Nelson says if you don't check the option to have multi-piece necks, which obviously they probably charge more for, that you'll automatically get a uh, one-piece maple. I'm curious, though. It probably has a glue-on fretboard. And it's it's made from a CNC machine. And that's what really surprised me about uh, Adam's neck was that I know it's CNC'd. It doesn't have the exact feel of the, of the you know, Lacido, the Kramer necks I like. But once you start playing, you can't really tell that much. I like it. I like it. For the money, for what it is, I, I think it's worth it. If you're going to do a 5150, you might as well get one of those instead of trying to find a grail neck or something that, you know, it's going to be like almost impossible to find, or if you do find it, it's going to be a couple grand, you know. Although it will play out unbelievably good, but yeah, I, I support him on that. Mm-hmm. By the way, congratulations, Adam, if you tone. Oh, he just got he, married. He just got married. Oh, and just tell me, everybody, let me know if an ad runs in 15 seconds. Because <laughs> so I just got an alert saying an ad will run in 10 seconds. Let's count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Is there an ad? For some viewers, it was telling me. I just got an alert on my screen. I'm not getting this one. Do you guys see an ad? Yeah, not now. Is that for some viewers? Tritown Kid got it. What, Dad? It's not on the phone. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, gee, yeah, the jerky boys were hilarious. Yeah, Nelson, it's worth getting. It's a 2 and 360 snack pocket, so it could work on a... uh, any any Kramer body, like from you know, f- from uh, ESP, if you had a body from '85 or something like that, it'll work with your reproduction bodies. Like the body that I used is a Musicraft, which was hard to find because they stopped making them. But you could probably get one from Lock, and it would work too. But it's mm-hmm. a lot of work, and those 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 bodies aren't completely accurate. I had to do a lot of woodworking you know, to get up to be where stuff is supposed to be. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I totally endorse that. I was very impressed with this. They come totally bare. There is no finish on the neck at all. 
I had to be very careful before I sent it out to Marty Bell. Marty Bell has a product that he sprays on it that protects it, but feels like there's nothing on there. It's it's absolutely wonderful. Absolutely, he's got he's got franchises doing that because there's nobody that does that kind of thing. He's got like five franchises over, across the country that uh, that put this product on the neck, so it wouldn't be just bare wood, you know. And I had to be really careful. You know, I was thinking, well, I could dress it when I get back and this and that, but I had to re pre preassemble it. So I went ahead and I did it and I dressed it and uh, I did clean up a little bit of the fretboard with some scratch X with a very clean cloth before I sent it to make sure that it was totally, uh, you know, it was totally clean before we put the product on. But yeah, it, it, it. It's a good, it's a really good, I love that guitar. I had offers to buy it and I would not sell it. That's how much I like it. Would you sell it tonight? Probably not. For a 50 inch gong? That's like 10 grand. Would you trade Sabian? it for a gong? Sabian 50 inch it. gong? <laughs> it would have to be a good gong. I mean, you know, nobody has gongs to trade. That's not going to happen. Nobody? Basically. Unless it's like, you know, some kind of gong I don't want. Like a hmm? Sabian? <laughs> you know, what, Sabian there's gongs does. you don't like? You know. What's what's the difference? No, it's not oil. Oh, it's not it's not oil, Blue. It's like a product that he sprays on, but it's not oil. It's not oil? No. I, I'm, I'm going to have to go get it. It's a spray? Yeah, it's a spray on, but it's not. It, it's, it's not it's like a, a roll-on? It's a sealer? Yeah, it's a sealer, and it, it feels just like there's nothing on there. Hey, I'll go get it so we can see it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we can take a close look. All right, I'll take you out for a few. All right. I didn't want it. The name of this is On Stage. <laughs> on Stage. And, it's, and you, it's wanted, the, you wanted to trade that in, Ron. Well, it's, it's the seatbelt material. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know. I yeah, like I would think if, if you make custom stuff, I don't think trade-ins would, no, I like, know. You, I you'd was, have no use for it I, at all. I'm Italian, though. I had to ask. <laughs> trade-ins. <laughs> Plus, it got a laugh. That was all I was going for, anyhow. Yeah. You guys, we have a few minutes left. Robbie just left. I don't know. I forget why. Oh, to get some spray get or something. He's going to get the guitar to show it. No, he was going to get a spray. No, he was getting the guitar to show that the neck, the, how the neck was sprayed. Oh, it, I thought he was getting it, up like to get it's some It's protected, spray. but it didn't look like it had a finish over it. Oh. Okay. Well, while we wait for Robbie, let me remind you guys, I'll be live at Guitar Center in the morning. So I'll probably go to bed right after this. Probably try to eat some chips and then go to sleep. I'll be on Paunch, TikTok. Paunch or John? Uh, what, what was the, the other one? The girl one? Yeah. I don't remember. Um, she came on after I quit watching that show. Oh. John left. And then just, it was just Paunch, right? Or there was another guy. There was Yeah, Paunch there was another there guy. Was another another blonde-haired guy. guy. Looked like him they brought in. Just like, like when, when Bo and Luke when, Duke when left. When the Dukes left. Yeah. Yeah. And all of a sudden, oh, here's their cousins, Roy and yeah. Vance. Yeah. <laughs> Who happened to have black, dark brown hair and blonde hair? Who happened to look very similar? They're yeah, cousins. that was when that was over contract dispute, and they were, and that's when the the company, the movie, Dude. the show company, was saying the car was the star, not them. Yeah. Well, they found out they were wrong. <laughs> yeah. Did you see? There's video because I told you guys I'm I I watch TikTok every night i'm sitting there what's called doom scrolling on tiktok while i'm trying to go to sleep i'm like reading you know this that watching whatever i saw a video of tom wopat getting uh, pulled over by the cops in real life getting like a dui <laughs> in real life and I, and he actually he said who he was and the cop like didn't know who he was at all the cop was too young like he had no idea who the guy was like he went to shake his hand tom wopat went to shake his hand, and the cop didn't care it, it was it was it was horrible it was horrible well he's got to be oh coy coy in vance yeah he's got <laughs> uh wopat's got to be 70 or 70 plus 
now. Well, because the other guy still looks the same. He looks nothing John like John Schneider, him. but he was younger. Yeah. He was only 18 when he did that show. Walpat was like 30. Really? I didn't yeah. know there was a huge age difference. What about yeah, the cousins? Jo- there wasn't a huge Daisy? age difference between those guys. No, oh, I don't know. Advance. Now, I just know that uh, John Schneider said, you know, he goes, I was 18 years old in a, in a hit TV show driving a car like that. His life couldn't have been better. Wow. Can you imagine landing that at, at 18 years old, that you know, landing that series? Mm-hmm. But I, I was I was a fan of Catherine, Catherine Bach. Mm-hmm. I had oh Robbie's back. I had the uh, the soundtrack. One of my first tapes ever was the soundtrack to that, where they all <laughs> sing songs. You ever hear that? I've heard back then. I had, yeah. And the, the Johnny Johnny Cash sang a song called "The General Lee." That song is in Grand Theft Auto. So when I play Grand Theft Auto, I hear that song a lot when I'm <laughs> crashing cars. Is, is "Fuel" in there by Metallica? No. <laughs> It was it's wow. it's on the Hot Wheels game for PlayStation. Oh wow! I thought you All went right, to Robbie. Get some spray. You went to get a guitar. Yeah, yeah. So I can show you. We'll just concentrate on the neck here. Wow! Looks like the neck's bent. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's the yeah, it's the camera. It's weird how your camera's like that. I think your screen is bent on your. No, it, it's just Surrender. the way it comes up. Maybe it's a setting. <laughs> Yeah, it's, that. it's like it's like it's like back bowed, man. No, it's not. It's not. It, if you get far back enough back, you can see it's not. But I'm trying Look to that show flag you. behind you. You look like you're doing some sort of a, like a, a, a dress. <laughs> you're like speaking to your country right now. These are the guitars that we like. <laughs> this is the guitar we're looking for. <laughs> Everybody plays these guitars. In our country, you can see how he's the president like of Oklahoma. There's nothing. It looks like there's nothing on it, and it feels like there's nothing on it. It's it, it's 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 totally like there's wait. It, it doesn't. There's like there's nothing on there. If you look really close, it's a it's a product he put on it, and it and it was it. it, it it's it's beautiful, and it, it's not an oil. It's it's a spray on. It's it's a. Uh, it, it's some sort of. It's some sort of like, special clear coat that he uses, that doesn't. You can't feel it. You know. It's great. <laughs> Let me play you the solo of my people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I nice need and did not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Does that say major or mayor? Major. That's supposed to say mayor. I don't know how to <laughs> Clear address, major single. How do you spell mayor? That's what's supposed to be. Ost, 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 Y. A Ost, y instead of a J. Oh. Ach, Tung, das Volk. Zach. Das Volk ein Akt leben, das Akting ein S A I I That's verboten. How do you spell senator? <laughs> Siri, how do you spell senator? Hey Siri, how do you spell senator? S E N A T O R. There you go. N-A-T-O-R. I assure you people that the situation is under control. We have everything under control. Do not panic. We have a Zoom control. We have a Zoom control. Do not fear. We have... Wow, the- when, Ro- when Robbie goes live, these will be his live streams. <laughs> Robbie, look, you be the, the, Robbie's the SS. <laughs> Senator Stingle Have no fear The gongs Marshall are here, here. <laughs> the, the gongs will protect us We have brought gongs? in We have brought in the 
the Gonja. master gong maker. Utkin. Utkin was trained to be master gong maker at Paste in Switzerland. Oh, before, Morgan. Before we uh, moved to Germany. Again? Oh, now it's like a pesty. <laughs> <laughs> but first That's we went to Austria. Nothing? We went to Austria and, and, and we this we ran into this guy and he said, What are you doing at my house? Get out of my house now. Hey, uh, Arnold, man, you, you get kind of old, man. You, you really got to stop this kind of thing. I mean, that last movie you did, it wasn't any good, man. I mean, you know. Yo, yo, Adrian, what do you think of that? Huh? She likes it. She she likes you in a movie. She just thinks you're, like, kind of old. and got to stop, like, you know, having sex with the livestock and stuff, you know. And like, oh. Hey, bit... <laughs> Let Clay, us what is this man doing here? <laughs> uh, they have ways of making you suck. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Squeal like a piggy. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting excited now. We're on the farm animals. We're on the farm animals <laughs> now. I want all of them now. <laughs> yo, yo, Arnold, man, you really got to stop doing this. Ladies thing, and gentlemen, man. thank you for this week's show. We went downhill real quick. <laughs> as soon as Forty Gret laughed. <laughs> Yeah, I was blown away by uh, by Mr. I'm Bell. <laughs> Mr. Bell, what he did with this with this guitar neck. So that was one of my major things because even though the the eighty the eighty five bread I have and that neck I got out of the garbage has never had a stitch <laughs> and has never had a stitch of of anything on it. That's been bare wood for all these years, and I never put a thing on it. And it's still cool, you know, and I'm not gonna, I leave it alone, you know, but, uh, yeah, this being like brand new and no, no finish. And, uh, this stuff that he put on here was, was, was fantastic. And I really like, I play this guitar a lot on my channel. I think I'm going to do Tristan and his old on this, the prelude. I'm working on it, you know. This is the only guitar I have that the bridge is hitting the body. It's the only one. Everyone else I have is floating. This thing sit this thing's hitting barely and it stays in tune there. Which is something I couldn't do. I had a really hard time getting that to work. And this this pickup is so far away from the from the strings. I'm splitting half octaves. I'm not just splitting octaves. I'm splitting half octaves. And when I get through with you, you're going to wish you were never born. <laughs> Johnny, you need to start the Roku channel. <laughs> that sounds good to me. We got to figure that out. Uh, well, Roku, technically, we're Roku. on Roku because on we're on YouTube. YouTube's on Roku, so anybody can watch us on Roku using YouTube. Yeah, but YouTube. you can actually get a Roku channel. But I can actually get a Roku channel? Hey, Jana, send me a tweet and tag Roku <laughs> in the tweet. Send him an X. And try to find out how we get on Roku. That that sounds good. Let's do that. Would you guys Would you guys come over to Roku in the chat? How come that to work? the dark side. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, that's a note. We already talked about that. Roku. Actually, I can change that. channel do we want to go major or do we want to go minor minor diminished <clears throat> hello 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 hello
<laughs> okay. All right. Do we want to raid somebody? What? You are a stalker. No. <laughs> Do we want to raid? Panty raid? Oh, there's one other thing. I never made the cover for the back. Still have it. I don't think I'm going to. Bro- <laughs> As you can see, there's no holes drilled for it. It's not hurting anything. When I play it with my teeth, you can see it on my channel that it has no cover. I've got the plastic. It wouldn't be hard to do, but you know, I finished this guitar a while ago, and I just never did it. And it's like, okay, cool. <laughs> Fine. I don't care. It's good. Yeah, G. I know. I love it. I love this thing. It was a lot of work, but I really do. And it's kind of nice having one that isn't, like, made out of the actual parts, you know. So it's like, you know, I'm holding this thing that's made out of the the, the same parts. And it, it's like, and it has little quirkiness to it. There's little quirks that go along with the with those parts that, you know, it's got its own kind of special thing going on, which is very cool. But I'm surprised with this, and I, I do really like it a lot. So it's cool. Hey, money wise, how much is in that? If you don't mind just asking. With the case, I got about twenty five hundred in that. So for me to sell it, it would have to be over that. Yeah. Right, and then I'd have 20, to build another one. So that twenty five oh one. I'm so thirsty. Never happened. Oh. You're a double. Never mind. Two fisted yeah. drinker he is. Oh yeah. Um. Should we raid somebody? Camp I Gmail have, has 16 I have no people. idea what you're talking about. That means we send our chat over to another channel. Oh, I don't want to go to Gmail. I'm, I'm still, I still don't like that he muted me. Who's all over there? Uh, Chris Lane Sr. is on there. Mm-hmm. He's Emp cool. Is on there. Pinch is Emperism. on there. Emperism. Yes. Yeah. Greg May. Oh, Gary. His name's Gary. I didn't know that. Michael Songs. Yeah, he he does a he has a show and he goes live. Do you like these dudes, Robbie? Yeah, they're cool. I mean, you know, I, I'll yeah. Talk even to Zach Tong is saying they're live right now. Let's raid Camp G- before they start singing songs. Let's, let's, <laughs> Kumbaya. Let's raid them. Hey, next week the- is Friday the thirteenth. Hey, G. G. It's In really October. not. It's- Gee, it's really not too bad considering that. I mean, I don't have that kind of money all of a sudden to put up front, but you could get you could pick at it a little bit each month, a part here, a part there, you know, and do the work. And basically, all the guitars I have cost around that much to build, with me doing all the labor, of course. So it really depends on what you start with. I always say that you need good bones. You start with like you know, if you get a really oh, rare body, you get a really rare neck. That's the thing. <laughs> Huh? No, I'm just I'm just trying. No, you're just talking. So thank you, channel members. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Thank you for your continued support. Don't forget, you guys, check out uh check out Rocket Music Gear. Check them I'm, out. I'm actually gonna do I'm gonna buy one from her. I, we have all kinds of links in the chat. High quality stuff, and she was she seemed like a really nice person. And oh. and what the best part was she cared about her product. That's I like mm-hmm. that. Yeah, There's absolutely. their Etsy store right there in the chat. Check it out. Etsy right there. Check them out. Okay, who should we raid? I mean, who who is this? These guys are live right now. This is uh I think a guy's playing a song right now though. Yeah, that guy's dancing. Is Dane on? <laughs> I don't think so. Let's see. Um <laughs> Thanks, G. I appreciate that. Well, these are just people I'm subscribed to. If we just go to live, I'd have to do this again, though. I'd have to get Marty Bell to paint another one. I could only get him to do maybe one a year, and I gotta have him on painted just a regular color. 
So before I can have another one painted, I have to send him that uh, that that Lynch guitar, right? So I've got to send that first. I'd have to make another one. Uh, dang it, I like this dang thing. I didn't think I would, but I do. I hemmed and hawed to build it for so long. But he did such a great job painting it. And it, it, it sounds so great. I mean, you know, the Floyd's a... That's an 84 Chrome, you know, the custom shop pickup. I just so how, how much how much would one of those be if you if you actually had one that Eddie painted? Well, Eddie only painted the Frankenstrat. Well, I mean, but, but if you had one that he actually okay, let's say say you were friends with him, okay. And you tell him, "Hey, I'd like to have a replica of your guitar," and he comes over and actually paints it for you. I what what would that be worth? Oh, probably astronomical amount of money. I've seen one. I've really? seen one with a le handwritten letter. It was a blue striped guitar. If I can find, it, I'll show it to you guys right now. I don't know how legit this is. This is something I saw years ago. I saved it. I, like I said, I don't I don't know how uh, you know uh, authentic it is, but I have it. Where is it? It's a guitar that supposedly he built for a friend and painted it, and there's a letter that goes along with it. And this was years ago. This was a long. Oh, there it is. Okay, here's the guitar. I think I don't. I might have showed this to you before, Robbie. I mean, oh, you might see this and be like, I don't know, but let me see. What year was this, supposedly? This was. Is there a... Hmm. I'll show you the guitar. All right. Supposedly, Edward built this for a friend. Supposedly. Right, we've seen this before. Supposedly. Supposedly, that was built by Eddie Van Halen for a friend. We got a headstock. So, yeah. so what what are they asking for? Oh, they're not. There's no. Oh, okay. This, this is just a photo. That's this is from years ago. This is from like years and years and years ago. It was a Strat headstock. I wonder if that's a lawsuit neck. I'd imagine it could be. Is that had a piece chunked out of it? No, it's it's a VH logo. Oh, I see, I see. It's it's got it's paint over. So so if that was to go for sale, especially now since he passed away, and it was proven that he did do that, even though he didn't play it on stage or record with it, what do you think it would be worth? Well, it depends. You know, I mean, I mean, obviously he built it so he was going to play it, but. Again, it's not on stage in front of anybody. Well, so, and again, I'm saying I don't know if how legit it is. It's just something I saw year a lot of years ago, and there's a handwritten letter that goes with it, which I I won't show, but it actually supposedly it's Eddie, and he's he's like saying, "Hey, how have you been?" Like it's a personal letter to somebody, and he's like, oh, "I built this for you." Yeah, there are some questions with this though. But there's like there's like the like the the stationary looks like that so i don't know how legit it is i mean could be real could be not i don't know so again if it was real what do you think that would that, that it would sell for I'd, I'd say at least two hundred fifty thousand or more it'd be in the hundreds of thousands yeah yeah i'd say that's if, a starting off point if if, if you had the providence and you could prove yeah i think i think well. 40 grit 40 grit would be selling all his guitars <laughs> <laughs> well that's hard to say but uh yeah i think so now it doesn't have super providence like you know pop for teacher guitar or something yeah 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 that's different but, uh it would still be worth quite a bit of money if it was authenticated and then you got a fucking ton, excuse my language, you got a ton of oh. experts, a ton of experts that have to go over it with a fine tube comb to really authenticate what was done, the stylings and the way that Edward built guitars to a really 
really say yes he did this kind of thing yeah he did that Mm -hmm. so uh, i guess i'd like to get a look at it you know take it apart because there's there's little things he did that you could tell it's like paul unker when he did a glue up body you knew it was him by the way he glued it up you know like that one that i got for the 1982 5150 that i reproduced Yeah. And that, yeah, you could, I knew it right when I, right when I stripped all that paint off, I looked at the, the way the glue joints were on the little pieces on the sides and uh, the angles that, th that they were was definitely Paul Unkert's work. And it, you know, and it was like, I knew right away. Yeah, this is, this was a rejected experimental that it cost too much to make, especially with the graphic that was on it with the old Kramer logo on it, billboarded. And these pictures of this girl on there, which I still couldn't identify who it was, but it was definitely a personalized thing. You know, it was definitely done as a personalized thing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's, that's a, that, that's a very cool pop bar body too. You know, it's got all the, that checks all the boxes. Hmm. G. Butchnoff is saying uh, there was a guy who owned a guitar shop around the corner from Guitar Center in San Diego. He showed me a pick of a guitar just like the one that I just showed. The guy said that Eddie had grabbed the guitar before it clear coated dried and left fingerprints on the back of it. Let me, let me, do I have a photo of the back? Wow. Um, yeah, that definitely sounds like something he'd do. There's the back of the headstock. It has the it has the tuners like that what Robbie likes. From nineteen eighty two. Oh no, yeah. Well he oh look at their double screws. Oh no, they're double they're that's like a yes. double ninety. Oh that's that's iffy there, Johnny. That's iffy. I do not see Edward using those. But if that's all he had in the on the bench at the time. Mm, yeah, but what he had, he had boxes full of stuff. I I don't see him using those. That's a red flag right there. Or maybe maybe he built that for that guy, but he really wasn't that good of a friend. So we're just going to use the, <laughs> the <leftovers. laughs> get rid of this use stuff. the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can't really see the. It's got the rail pickups, which won't really. Is that a is that a coupling bar? Because that's a definite red flag too. That looks like a screw and coupling bar. Hmm. I know I that he know. wouldn't have used that. I've that ha I've had happen. these I've had these photos since 2016. I don't I don't see him using a coupling yeah, bar. I don't know. Especially if you're well, talking. Well, the photo was in 2016, what you, but we don't know what year the guitar was actually given to the guy. Or maybe you do. Yeah. The, the 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 guitar, um, it's it's a it's early. I think it's early 80s. I think it's early. Oh, huh, that's either. interesting. That Floyd doesn't match at all, and those tuners definitely don't. Mm hmm. Well, look at the guitar. Nothing matches on it at all. It's a total <laughs> mutt. So I wouldn't go by, oh, but he would never use that. Well, maybe that's why he gave it away. But very you much, know? very might have been. And he, people were giving him guitars all the time, you know, sure. and he tried to give them away to get rid of them because he didn't want, he didn't want to take up the space. You know, he could have said to the guy, I built this for you just to, you know, thrill the guy or something. Or maybe yeah, he did. But, but then you think, uh, would he actually put it out there that, you know, this is a subpar and I'm going to say I build it? Hmm. Is that a chance uh, he would take? I don't know. I don't know. It's like painting I, I, a pick I, art. I, painting a pick art don't make sense either, you know, especially for him. So, ah. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked if it was if that was legit. Like I said, I don't know if it is or not. Right, I'm just theorizing here. Yeah. 
But like but I again, said, it could, it could have been a guy who really wasn't that good a friend, so we'll just use these junk parts, and here's a guitar bill for you. Mm-hmm. Could have been Andy. Well, we, we, we have heard the story of that other guy that said, you know, Eddie jumped, Edward jumped out of the car, ran over and gave him a guitar, and he drove away. You remember that one? And we looked at that guitar, too. Hmm, no, and no. it didn't look like that was legit. But it might have been something that somebody gave him, and he just gave it away. Mm-hmm. VH symbol on it, yeah. There was another guitar that had a VH on the on the headstock, though, too. One I that he played. Now I I saw a stripe a a green instead of the red. It was green with the white and black stripes. And he supposedly built that, but he built it for himself, but never used it. Hmm. I saw that picture. The guy that was probably late eighties. Matter of fact, it was one. It was like in one of the magazines. Uh, I don't know if it was a guitar player, or, you know, because there was a lot of them back then that aren't around now. But I remember seeing it, and I thought, because I thought, wow, green. Everywhere that one on the screen right there is red. It was green. I thought it looked kind of neat, actually. Mm -hmm. But they said it was like it was something he was trying for himself, but he ended up not going with the green. I'd say that's entirely possible because in the late 80s, he was like done with Kramer. So he wasn't getting anything out of there. And he was going to like Schechter to make him custom bodies for what he wanted. And um, yeah, that was a gray area, you know, where he wasn't really associated with Kramer. And that that's pretty much why I went to Tom Anderson. You know, to to get a neck made by like somebody else, you know. So there's a there's a period of time in there where that does make sense. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. it was it was it wasn't a, a neon green. It was like a wasn't a real dark green like an emerald either. It was just like a medium green with the black and white stripes. And I I thought it looked neat. I mean, it was almost painted the stripes. I'm you know I'm assuming they were probably pretty close the same as that. But it just where that one was red, it was green, and they and the caption said Eddie's experiment with color or something like that, something that he built. And so hmm. I don't know. That's cool. That's that was cool. probably eighty eight or eighty nine, somewhere around there. Oh, and you saw this? You actually saw? Yeah, it was like it was in a magazine. No, yeah, oh. it was in it was in a magazine. Do you remember what magazine? I'm I'm trying to I don't know if it was a guitar player or something that was it was a it it was like a maybe a two page article total and it had like two maybe three pictures of the guitar. But it uh it, it I thought it looked pretty good actually. But then I'm a fan of green to begin with, so <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh wait a minute! It wasn't a guitar that was that uh, somebody tossed on stage and he painted it. The teardrop. No. no. There was a striped teardrop that was green. That he had at fifty-one fifty. It's in in the. It's on the wall, of with all the guitars. It's it's one of those old sixties teardrop, you know, that like a almost like a round body, yeah. and it's green with white stripes. No, this this one just looked like the red, the regular Frankie, but where it was red, it was green. And they, the article said, you know, Eddie's experimenting with color or something like that. I, I, I get, you know, we're talking what thirty? That's weird. Yeah, thirty four years ago, thirty five years yeah, ago. Yeah, that's weird. Scott is saying, do you know if anybody will make a movie about EVH? Oh, I'm sure. Whether it's a major motion picture, I don't know, but I'm sure people will make. Documentaries and stuff, sure. Right, Ned? Ned Nedward Van Halen. Do you don't remember that that guitar, Johnny? It had like the paint was different underneath the neck plate. It had like different colors under the neck plate. There's a lot of stuff that was really suspicious about it. Was it a reverb thing? No, no, it was some guy, I think he contacted you, saying Edward gave him this guitar one day. He drove up and 
I don't know if he jumped out of a limo or something, or he opened up his trunk or something and handed it to him, and then he left. And and we looked at the guitar pretty closely. I kind of remember that, but I yeah, don't, I don't remember what it looked like. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can. Yeah, that's interesting, Ron. What you're saying. I'm thinking I would have maybe seen that back then, though. I'm trying, but I don't recall that. Well, you were, you would only been about four or five. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't read yet. Still can't. See it, Blue. Take See it easy. Blue. Smash that thumbs up. Don't forget, I'll be live at Guitar Center in the morning. I should probably get to bed at some point because I have to get over there pretty early, and it's like. With traffic, if there's traffic, there's definitely going to be traffic coming down here tomorrow. Trying to come, oh, how am I going to get home? I'll never get home to, if I go up there. Because of traffic coming down. You got no choice, though. You got to meet them. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, that's in the morning. So if I just do that, and then we do that, and then I, I split. and Actually, I would have to well, wait a little bit. I'd have to stick up. I'd have to hang out in San Jose a bit tomorrow. This this isn't it, but this someone someone else must have seen the photo and tried to make one. I'll send it to you now, Johnny. Okay. But it, it's like a green Frankie or something, right? Yeah. This one's yeah. the fifty-one fifty, but. Yeah. Football traffic? No, beach traffic. Everybody in the East Bay, everybody in the Bay Area comes down to Santa Cruz on the weekends. So if you're trying to come down here during the weekend, it's a nightmare. And then if you're trying to leave Santa Cruz in the in the evening to get back up to over the mountain, it's a nightmare. Right. So I'll have no problem. I'll have no problem getting out of here in the morning. It's just coming back, trying to get back home over the mountain. Actually, well, no. Actually, if I wait a little bit. Oh, wait, that's. What's that? Yeah. That's not yeah. the one that was in the picture, no. but but no. that's. They must have that... seen the picture and tried to make one something like it. Yeah, well, a lot of people have made these. They just make them different colors just to be different. Right. And Rob Johnson just sold one of those that yeah. he made. Yeah. Yeah. They make them diff just to be different. Oh, Rob Johnson just recently had a birthday at 50 years old. I oh, saw that. Five zero. Yeah. Mm hmm. So mm -hmm. happy birthday to Rob. Yeah. Happy birthday, Rob. Yeah, Congratulations, birthday. Adam. If you tone, he just got yeah, married. Adam. That just happened over the weekend, or or before the weekend. Maybe it was yesterday. I think Friday, it was yesterday. Or the day before. Last couple of days. It was, it's, it's close. Yeah. yeah. Today's the weekend. Holy Today's crap. the weekend, you guys. 2.34 here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's late. We got to. We got to. We should. We gotta, gotta yeah, because yeah. I'm going to have to, like, I need to get some sleep. And then I only slept four hours a couple nights ago. So um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Early afternoon from Guitar Center, San Jose, right here on the channel. Ron Gunner. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, man. Robbie, the animal. Well, this guy's asking, uh, is one more giveaway or are you done? Huh? Should we do another giveaway? We can. Go ahead. Do one more. That green guitar that, that Ron just showed earlier. All right. All right. See, yeah, that one, the the one I saw that they said Eddie did, it was actually like the, the original Frankenstein. It, it had to, the, yeah. The, yeah. 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 All and right, again, so that was probably 88, somewhere, 80, some, somewhere in the late 80s. Mm-hmm. Bry the Sun guy won earlier. 
we gave a couple of these away earlier. He already won. He already contacted me. So he, uh, okay, let's do a, um, let's do the one that, that we, that you talked about earlier. This is a guitar pick holder. This is made by our friends at, uh, Rocket Music Gear. What was this animal that she said? I don't remember. I, I forget. can't remember either. But you guys... Hold your guitar picks. Sits on your desk. There you go. Or your amp head. Or, or your amp. Or your microphone stand. Laz would have it on the floor. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, Zora, Zora would definitely knock that thing off to whatever it was on. Look, it's like me and, and uh, Lyman. <laughs> If it gets up and flies away, I'm out of here. <laughs> All right. All right. Who wants to win this? This is yours. Salamander. All right. Here we go. Actually, let me open this up. The winner. Bry the sign guy. Well. Rigged. He already won run of them. One no, Rick, Rick is not in the chat anymore. You have to come up with something else. Like yeah, you rigged. can't even say rigged. I, I blocked that word. It's not even in there. All right, but Plan the winner... Planned? What? Fake? <laughs> the winner is... The winner is... Blue Mox! Hey, there, Blue. You go, Blue. there you go, Blue. Wait, isn't he the guy that just left? <laughs> He might have. <laughs> I was here all night. I mean, come on. But then it, is he, he he doesn't have any way of knowing to call you. He doesn't you have know? a phone? Well, if he's not watching, he's not going to know he won. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Now how is he going to know that he won? Blue Mox, you just won. <laughs> Are you still in the yeah. chat? I think he just yeah. left. I don't know how to get all of them. I don't know. Him. Somebody tell him. I. Somebody tell him that he won. Does the anybody know him to tell him? Blue Mox. There we go. Well, if he doesn't contact you, then maybe down the line he'll give it away again. That sky prop said spin again. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Somebody tell him. I mean, he just left like four minutes ago. Well, maybe he's still listening. If you're still listening, send me a, a message. All right. Thank you again, channel members. Thank you for your continued support for the show. And don't forget, I'll be live uh, from Guitar Center um, late morning, early afternoon tomorrow. Or in about 20 minutes later today. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. Yeah. Have a good night. Thanks for uh, watching. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Johnny Bean TV. Um, let's, see, let's find one. All right. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Hey, this is Jennifer Batten, and you are watching Johnny Bean TV. And...